Area Sports Commission. They're responsible for community being home to countless amateur sporting events and state tournaments from state volleyball, wrestling, tennis, and much more. The Sports Commission generates significant annual economic impact while adding substantially to our quality of life. The Iowa City Area Sports Commission is a proud spa, uh, presenting sponsor of UI Women's Athletics. Learn more at wegotnext.org. The Iowa City Area Sports Commission Women's Sports Update. Iowa Volleyball will be uh, in Evanston tonight looking for their first Big Ten win at 0-18, 8-22 overall, 7 o'clock first serve. So they take on the Wildcats who are 13-15 and 7-11. And and they are at number 5 Wisconsin tomorrow night. The Badgers are 24-3 and 15-3 and and in Big Ten play. That will be another 7 o'clock Iowa start time tomorrow night in Madison, Wisconsin. Iowa wrestling, Iowa women's wrestling team is 4-0. and all. They have a lengthy break now. Number eight team in the country in women's wrestling. They're off until Sunday, December 10th. They'll be at North Central College Invitational in Naperville, Illinois. The number five ranked Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball team getting ready to start their holiday tournament tonight. The uh, Golf Coast Showcase in Estero, Florida. So Hawkeyes will take on Purdue, Fort Wayne tonight, 6.30, the start time, central time, as they'll take on the winner of Delaware and uh, FGCU. Time to be determined on Saturday night. They'll also play on Sunday to wrap up the Gulf Coast Showcase. Number five, Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball team. Now it's time to take a look at the U.S. Bank scoreboard update at U.S. Bank. They know when you invest in the community, the community invests in you. They are committed to providing high-quality, innovative products and services that meet the needs and demands of their customers. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. As we take a look at the Big Ten men's scoreboard, one final so far today. Penn State fell to Butler, 88-78. to Another 3 o'clock game, same start time as ours. It'll be Michigan hosting Texas Tech at 4 o'clock. Alabama is at Ohio State, 6 o'clock tonight. Illinois will entertain Western Illinois. Of course, in the world of college football, what we were all tuning into, we were listening on our way here earlier this afternoon, the Iowa Hawkeye football team, 10-2, and two, fifth time in program history. And Bobby, they had it all the way. Just yeah. a 39-yard field goal by the backup kicker, Marshall Meter, a transfer from Central Michigan, and the Hawks better than the Nebraska Cornhuskers this afternoon. Yeah, congratulations. Uh, heck of a year. 10 and 2, as you mentioned, uh, going to be a fantastic bowl game. And to bring it down to a defense once again with the interception, uh, the run back, you got to within the field goal range. And Kirk made a, uh, a, a nice adjustment there. And where um, uh, Drew Stevens had struggled. Drew today. couldn't, yeah, a couple of blocks. We were watching it and just couldn't believe that. And then Marshall Meter calmly <laughs> stepped up there and uh, with a walk off buzzer beater, knock him down 13 to 10. Congratulations. The 17th ranked Hawkeyes improved to 10 and 2 again. Fifth time in program history, 10 wow. wins for Iowa Hawkeye football as they uh, get that win 13-10 to 10 this afternoon in Lincoln, Nebraska, and send the Cornhuskers uh, home at 5-7 denied of a bowl game this season. Elsewhere in college football, Penn State is uh, number 11 Penn State in East Lansing to take on Michigan State. That'll be a 4.30 start time. Everything else tomorrow, including uh, Ohio State, Michigan. The winner of that one will get to face the Iowa Hawkeyes in the Big Ten Championship next Saturday night at Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. As we take a look at the uh, top 25 games today on this Black Friday at halftime right now, it's Tulane, number 23, Tulane over UTSA, 23 to 10. Currently going on in the second period, 5.35 to go. Number nine, Missouri is shutting out Arkansas, 17 to 0 at 4.30. It's number seven, Texas against Texas Tech as they entertain the Red Raiders. At 5.30, Oregon State, number 16, Beavers are at the Ducks, number six, Oregon and one final for top 25 college football today. 
Number 13, Oklahoma, 69, TCU 45. One of the reasons for a uh, delay TV-wise in uh, this one as uh, the game we're watching in front of us here in California, 68-62. Oklahoma leads USC by six as uh, Fox was waiting to, to switch things over because of that football game earlier today. So we may be a little delayed. Hopefully we'll be close to a uh, 3 o'clock start time, 5 o'clock back home in Iowa for this one. So Hawkeyes get ready to take on Seton Hall. Oklahoma pulling away a little bit here. They are, and uh, doing it with defense. Once again, we saw how tough defensively they were on the Hawkeyes, and uh, they're just duplicating that here again uh, t in this afternoon's game against a really good USC team. But this kid here, McCollum, just seems to get a bucket whenever they need one. And, and uh, the big guy, Hughley, has got four three-point field goals from the outside. Field goal shooting, three-point field goal shooting for both teams, John, is hovering around 50%. As the... 68-62 lead. USC just comes away with the steal. We'll take a timeout. We'll continue with more of our Iowa Soybean Association pregame show. Coming up next, we'll hear from Seton Hall play-by-play -play man Dave Popkin. This is Hawkeye basketball off from Learfield. Are aches, pains, or injuries keeping you on the sidelines? At Athletico, our movement experts are here to help you turn your setbacks into comebacks and create a personalized game plan for your recovery. With no prescription or referral needed, Athletico Physical Therapy is where your comeback story begins. Get started today by scheduling a free assessment at athletico.com. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Does your company attire make you feel like you're always fourth and long? It's time for a change. Hand the ball off to Authentic Brand and watch your team transform into MVPs. On game days, our team dresses like champions in Authentic Brand. Ensure that your company's reputation remains untarnished by using nothing but the label specifically designed to display your company's identity. Ask your supplier for Authentic Brand products and see for yourself why it's more than just a label. It's a statement. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, Melrose Meadows. Voted Iowa City's best retirement community, the Hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, and the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor. Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community, garage, indoor pool, and more. Visit MelroseMeadows.com for more information. There's a Honda for every holiday adventure. Whether it's taking in the lights with all your friends in a spacious Accord, or taking in a snow day in a rugged CRV. Find your new Honda during Happy Honda Days. For a limited time, well qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Accord and 2024 CRV. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. See dealer for financing details. Lots of insurance companies make promises about how much you can save if you switch over to them. Well, here's our promise. With the West Bend policy, you can save everything. Every memory. Every detail. Everything you've worked so hard for. Once it comes time to actually make a claim, a cheap insurance policy can really cost you. Why not protect everything that matters with a policy from West Bend? Because the worst brings out our best. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Hi, it's your friend, social media. You know where I showcase the cool life of sports stars and friends. But don't fall for the editing and good lighting, because we all have struggles and challenges, like with alcohol or drug use, gambling, or our mental health. You know, talking about it is a sign of strength. Maybe you don't know who to talk to? Your Life Iowa can give you resources or treatment options. Get free 24-7 confidential support. Call, text, or chat online at yourlifeiowa.org. A message from Iowa HHS. This is the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show, delivering solutions for every life, every day. Back in Alliance Tree Arena in La Jolla, California. 2.16 to go in this second half of Oklahoma and USC. And the Trojans have battled right back, back to a two-point game. 68-66, the number 23 team in the country not gonna go away easy so they got that 71 63 lead 
a win over Seton Hall yesterday to get to this game. Our opposing interview today, not the head coach, Shaheen Holloway. He was uh, tied up with activities before the uh, game, but found their uh, play-by-play man, Dave Popkin. Had a nice uh, chat with him as Dave Popkin talks about the Seton Hall team, the battle yesterday, and what they expect in Pirate Land this year. Early in the year, they looked great. Yesterday, they kind of hit a buzzsaw with USC, a step up in talent and length. Um, But I think once they started to make that adjustment after halftime and cut it from 20 down to three, made it a ball game, had a couple chances, like open three that could have made it a one-point game with about a minute to go. Uh, They just couldn't shoot yesterday. But by and large, the team's been better than I expected uh, and better than the Big East coaches expected. Seton Hall was picked ninth, and I think that they'll finish higher than that. And uh, yesterday, defense got them back into it. Full court pressure forced 19 turnovers, a lot of them in the second half. Yeah, and I think they would have pressed more if they had legs. Uh, Seton Hall had a really long travel day on Tuesday. Uh, Delays coming from the East Coast to San Diego. Uh, They just looked flat for the first 25, 30 minutes of the game yesterday. So uh, I'll be interested to see today uh, if Seton Hall goes deeper into their bench and plays the starters a little bit less because some of those guys played big minutes yesterday. A few guys uh, back from last year's team uh, blending in with the new guys who've used the transfer portal like a lot of teams have, led by three seniors. Talk about what makes this team go. Kadari Richmond makes this team go. His numbers are up in every category. He leads the team in points, rebounds, assists, steals, minutes, you name it. Uh, an all-Big East caliber guard that can get to the rim. Alamir Dawes usually is a great shooter. Uh, yesterday he did not shoot well against USC, but uh, it's kind of like Iowa. Like They have a, got a lot of guys that could shoot and didn't do it yesterday, so maybe you see Dawes bounce back today. Dre Davis is a reliable scorer, averages over 13 a game. Kind of lanky 6'6 transfer. Uh, from Louisville, played well last year, playing better this year, and then you know a handful of other uh, useful guys. Dylan Adewusu is a senior, transferred in from Seton Hall. He's a glue guy. And quick turnaround. How does Coach uh, Holloway and company uh, get their team ready this quick uh, with with the uh, mindset of shaking off, just like Coach McCaffrey has to do, shaking off yesterday with that shooting and just uh, coming back and getting after it. Sometimes it's good to not overthink and not overprepare for a team. Yeah, I think that could be the case today. Uh, Iowa could give Seton Hall problems because they like to go up-tempo and shoot a lot of threes, but Pirates are a good, gritty, East Coast defensive team, uh, so that could make it hard on Iowa. Um, I I think Seton Hall just needs to gut this one out and try to come away with a split. And uh, a lot of things have changed in a year. We both played last year early on at uh, Seton Hall. Uh, How much has your team uh, changed? You talk about some of those new faces. Well, I, I think they lost some grit. Casey Nadefo and Femi Odikali were these like tough guys, uh, forwards on the team, and they got better as the year went on. Seton Hall has replaced them with maybe more talent, a little bit more length. Um, there should be more depth on this team. Um, But the Big East is so tough this year that I don't know how Seton Hall will fare in league play because it's looking pretty rugged. How does Coach Holloway and his staff like this tournament's atmosphere, coming here, the warm weather, getting away from things? You said the long travel day, but how does he like these uh, holiday tournaments? I don't know. Uh, I I don't think that uh, he loves the long trip, but um, we have bad memories of coming to San Diego two years ago when Seton Hall got blitzed by TCU in the NCAA tournament. Uh, it's been great until the game started, <laughs> you know. <laughs> good, good warm weather, good little break, holiday. Uh, Dave, appreciate your time. Best of luck to the Pirates uh, afterwards. It's good to be back on Iowa Radio. I lived in Sioux City, and I lived in Des Moines doing the Explorers and the iCubs, so it's always really? good to be back talking to an Iowan. Well, that's great. Uh, thank you for your time here today. Good luck to the Pirates. All right, you too. Thanks. Dave. Dave Popkin, play-by-play man, usually the color man. Uh, Dave Cohen is uh, the regular, Gary Cohen, I should say, is the uh, regular play-by-play voice of uh, Seton Hall. He takes some games off, doesn't go on the long trips. He's a a Hall of Fame uh, broadcaster, and he'll be back in the uh, full, but Dave filling in uh, today. Great to meet Dave Popkin. Thanks again for uh, his time this afternoon. 45 seconds to go. Oklahoma is winning 70-68. A timeout here. USC just got the ball back as uh, an entertaining game. This one's shaping to be as the Trojans have fought back after the down by six, Bobby. 
They really have, uh, uh, John. And uh, it's good to hear Dave Popkin there, the old iCup voice there. Uh, but uh, he's right. That's a long haul <laughs> from New Jersey down here to San Diego. That's about as far across the country Especially as you, you can Especially when you have go. troubles flying and you have yeah. issues. Feel well, bad. we don't have any of those. Hopefully yeah. we don't have any I tonight, know. of I course. Know. Keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> but, the, um, you know, he mentions a, a good point that Seton Hall doesn't have a lot of depth. You look down at the scoring numbers. I mean, off the bench, you're getting four points from Saunders, two points of Dogan, uh, and six from Coleman. So maybe the Hawkeye, uh, the, the five guys that come in off the bench, uh, Fran brought the hockey line change in several times, and they produce. Josh Dix with the uh, four freshmen. Owen Freeman was phenomenal. He was our player of the game yesterday, uh, a big Owen had 13 points and I think seven rebounds and really played tough inside against that big guy, John Hughley. So um, add in Price Sanford, Laji Dembele, and Brooke, Brooke, Brock Harding. And, uh, you know, maybe that's the key here to uh, to victory here this afternoon is getting that second unit going early. If Fran's not getting it out of the first group defensively like he wants to get, getting up and down the court, you've got to run. As Dave mentioned, you've got, got some, some, uh, some tough travels and tired legs. So let's see if we can get out early. And hopefully the Hawkeyes' defense can slow them down and not uh, let them run so much. Or uh, maybe they'll want, want to run with them. Yeah, I think you're going to see a much better defensive effort out of the uh, Hawkeyes here in this afternoon's game. I mean, yesterday was just unfortunate they were getting beat off the dribble. And we had some rim protection with Dembele and Owen Freeman there. But, um, yeah, you need to be better. And you need to keep your man in front of you there. And... Uh, Get that uh, one, two, two, three-quarter court press going, too, so you can take some time off the clock, and now you don't have to defend for so long in the half court. USC just had a turnover. Oklahoma has the basketball. 35.1 to go in the second half. Oklahoma leading 70-68. We give you a little bonus coverage of uh, this one, as we'll have plenty of time to fill with uh, this one getting over and uh, our pregame. Continuing on, it will not be a straight top of the hour, uh, 5 o'clock start time back home as uh, they're taking a look at uh, the replay here, looking at something with uh, 35.1 to go in this second half. As uh, Hawkeye fans, uh, don't forget next week, Hawkeyes return to action at home as they'll host North Florida on Wednesday night at uh, 8 o'clock as uh, Coach McCaffrey and uh, company be back inside Carver. Plan your trip to Carver Hawkeye. Visit HawkeyeSports.com or call 1-800-IA-HAWKS. Up next, we'll chat with the Hawkeye head coach, Fran McCaffrey, presented by your Iowa John Deere dealers. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. Get in the game with Hawk Talk. Join Coach Kirk Ferentz and host Gary Dolphin for 90 minutes of Iowa football talk. Wednesday, 6.30 to 8 Central. Listen live on the Hawkeye Radio Network and Iowa Hawkeye's YouTube channel. Presented by VIEW Rooftop. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments, they're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making healthcare better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that Blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. Are aches, pains, or injuries keeping you on the sidelines? At Athletico, our movement experts are here to help you turn your setbacks into comebacks and create a personalized game plan for your recovery. With no prescription or referral needed, Athletico Physical Therapy is where your comeback story begins. Get started today by scheduling a free assessment at athletico.com. Proud partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at Hy-Vee. 
That's not a sale price. That's the price with the High V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week, it's the Perks price every day. With the High V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for High V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, the hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor, and Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. Jill Armstrong and her team strive to make every buyer and seller at ease with the real estate process. If you are in the market to buy or sell a home, contact the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty. For all your real estate needs, call 319-631-5455. Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited. We provide experiential travel and vacation planning for Hawkeye fans across the state. Contact one of our destination experts to start planning your next trip at duagency.com. Back in Lion Tree Arena on the campus of UC San Diego, one of 10 University of California campuses. Here as the southernmost UC San Diego, 14 miles in La Jolla, California, a Division I school since 2020 as they were uh, D2 and started the process of moving in uh, 2017. A school started back in 1960, home of the uh, Tritons. Nice campus here, beautiful facilities. They don't have football. They uh, spend their energy on some other sports, and it shows with this beautiful arena, Bobby. Yeah, that's a nice arena. I think it holds four to 5,000 people. It seems to be, uh, within the last 10 years at least, new. we got a big rec center right next door. All the athletic fields are around it. But this is, a you know, down here in uh, California, you're looking at water polo and volleyball as, as your sports that uh, take the place of, of football. So um, beautiful campus, as you mentioned. It's uh, what people have told me. It's a sprawl campus up here north of San Diego and beautiful uh, town of La Jolla sits up on the cliffs above the Pacific Ocean and you've heard that uh, town before it's where Torrey Pines yes uh, home of the U.S. Open I think Tiger Woods got his golf start this way uh, with a lot of young golf up here at Torrey Pines but uh, yeah it's uh, you know it's a hike to get out here a ton of Hawkeye fans came to the game yesterday John I was impressed with the turnout that we had with the support for the Hawkeyes and uh, we're seeing a lot of black and gold up around the top uh, mezzanine area waiting to take their seats for the after 25 seconds to play here. Indeed. Well, hopefully after 25 seconds, we're tied up at 70 right now, Oklahoma and USC. Oklahoma has the ball. Shot clock is off with 15 seconds to go. Yuzan has it for Oklahoma. He gives it up to McCollum. This is bonus coverage of Oklahoma and USC before we get the Hawkeyes started in a little while. Here's McCollum. Pull up. Jumper. Long two. No good. The tip back is good. Going up. Otega Owe tips it in. And Oklahoma has knocked off USC, the 23rd ranked team in the country. Oklahoma 72, USC 71 a finish. Wow. wow, that shot had no chance to go on in. McCollum, he found a way to squeeze it off, but it hit the rim, bounced straight up, and then away. Nobody Those blocked him out. He came crashing, as we saw him do yesterday, crash the glass. He came crashing in, and uh, it looked like it might have been offensive <laughs> goaltending, but somehow got that thing to drop and uh, a happy group of uh, Oklahoma Sooners. No doubt about it. 72-70 Oklahoma wins the first ever championship of the Rady Children's Hospital Invitational here at the Lone Tree, Lion Tree Arena as Oklahoma, the victors 72 to 70. Wow. As right now, it's time to hear from head coach Fran McCaffrey. Time for today's John Deere pregame interview with the head hawk. Brought to you by great Iowa John Deere dealers like Casey Nielsen in Tatanka. Talked to Coach McCaffrey earlier today about uh, the effort by his team. They were most pleased, of course, about that rebounding factor. Did a great job of the boards yesterday. Just wasn't enough to uh, take down Oklahoma yesterday. You're right. Uh, you know, when you look at a team that 
had 20 offensive rebounds in a previous game and just destroying people on the glass. We out-rebounded them. That was a main key for us. I mean, I would have felt like uh, the game would have been a lot closer with those rebounding numbers. Didn't expect to start the game one for 20 from three. Uh, not disappointed in the shot selection. I thought we were open. We had good shooters taking those shots. Uh, I think everything's a little different if a couple of those go in early. We made three at the end and, you know, got it back to a manageable number, but needed to have that happen sooner. And uh, in your 28 years, you've seen that uh, at times. Sometimes shots just don't go in. Uh, threes don't go in for whatever reason, even when you get good looks and, and wide open uh, shots. Uh, how do you impress that upon your players? How do you talk about that to stay positive and, and just keep on pushing forward? Yeah, the, the thing for me is, I mean, if, if we're shooting contested threes and we're taking quick rush shots, that's going to be a problem. And we might have had one or two of those, but it's kind of how we play. So it wasn't... A, in order in a number of, of, of bad shots, like I said, I mean, I thought we moved the ball, thought we cut hard, we had great looks at the basket. You know, I think, you know, our defense was not as connected as it needed to be uh, against a team that drives the ball the way they do. You know, got to be in the gaps and, you know, you got to be there on the catch. Your closeouts have to be in a good, timely manner. And uh, so that'll be a great challenge for us today because of how Seton Hall plays. A learning experience with the uh, Sooners, physical defense, some turnovers you'd like to have back uh, there in that game too. That was another issue. Yeah, you know, I, we're not a big turnover team typically. We probably had a few more than we normally do. Uh, the game was really physical. Uh, thought there should have been a few more fouls called than there were. But that was kind of how the game was officiated. It wasn't like one-sided. It was uh, they let the guys play. And we've got to be ready for that. And you talked about getting ready for uh, Seton Hall today. Quick turnaround in this tournament format, which you uh, like. Uh, uh, how you uh, play that this tournament format. Uh, you saw them last year. How different has the prep been? Uh, how much did they change in a year? They're a lot different. I mean, they have three key guys back that are really good players. You know, uh, Richmond, uh, Dawes, and Davis. Veteran guys, really good players. All can score, all can make plays. Uh, but they got some transfers that, that have made a difference, and they've blended well. I think Shaw did a good job with who he brought in, especially Betty Ako, the big kid. I, I've been really impressed with him. Coleman's a terrific freshman. They got a really good team. They play hard. And I think yesterday was a great example of who they are. I mean, they were they, they were getting beaten up pretty good. They're down 20, and they added to a one possession game with the ball. Uh, was a great comeback. They just stayed the course, so it's, it was an impressive performance by a group of veteran guys. And great crowd support yesterday. A lot of black and gold in that uh, first game yesterday, and and uh, expect the same uh, here today, of course. Yeah, I, 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 never surprised. I mean, the Hawk fans are just amazing. You know, our fans out here have been anxious for our teams to come out here, and now they're going to see us a lot more, both obviously in basketball and and football and everything else, I guess. So. Uh, it was great to hear that that roar. Hopefully today we'll make a few more shots. Indeed. All right, Coach, uh, best of luck. Thanks for your time as always. Appreciate it, John. Fran, Fran McCaffrey, head coach of the Iowa Hawkeyes, as we get ready for this one. It's going to be a little delayed than we expected uh, near overtime, a longer game. That one got started almost 10 minutes uh, later because of uh, TV this afternoon. So we're going to be a little delayed after the uh, regular schedule start time of 5 o'clock. Uh, back home so we will uh, stay with you and keep you company here get you ready for this one but to uh, coach McCaffrey's uh, point of uh, just got to push forward uh, we talked about the, the shooting uh, as a shooter uh, we talked about the post game yesterday it, it's not easy to uh, not let that affect you sometimes but you have to try to flush it you have to try to not think about it the must uh, the most you can but as you talked about it's easier said than done sometimes it is easier said than done then you got to understand these are young people as well and, and it bothers them and they want to do well they don't want to let their teammates down they want those shots to drop in there but uh, you have to have that scorer's mentality that shooter mentality that the next one is going to go in John and and, and I, I, that's the mentality that I see our guys going to have here tonight so uh, I, I look at uh, you know the shots we had Patrick McCaffrey was open the shots were short he just looked out of sorts a little 
little bit. Uh, uh, Peyton Sanford. I mean, yeah. every time he shoots the ball, uh, I expect that thing to, to drop, and he just couldn't couldn't really get it going early. Price uh, Sanford, uh, the same way. Tony Perkins had three opportunities out here right in front of us, and everything was short in there. So, again, you got to have that attitude that the next one's going to drop. you got to stay positive. And with the quick turnaround, I, I think the Hawks will get it done here this afternoon. Every game's different. Matchups are different. Feels different. How you're feeling as a player. Uh, that was an earlier game yesterday. This is a later game, more of a, a night game per se. When you're in here, you forget about what time it is. But uh, you just got to have that uh, mindset, too, that, uh, hey, it's a different game. We just got to move on. You got to come out with confidence. Yeah, you got to pay attention. These coaches do an outstanding job of preparing these kids with their scouting report. So you, you pay attention to it. They met when they got back to the hotel. They met after the Thanksgiving dinner that we all partook in uh, after the game uh, at, at, at 7 o'clock later in the evening. They had had the, got to bed early. They got up, had more meetings, had a, had a walk through. So they are going to be thoroughly prepared. And they know Seton Hall. Fran knows what yeah. Shaheen Holloway does. He's from out there. We saw him last year. Laje knows these guys, but what is going to be the same here, uh, John and Fran mentioned it, is they're going to let them play. These referees we saw yesterday as well, they've, they've mixed and matched them a little bit, but they don't call a lot of fouls, and uh, you got to be strong with the ball, and what Seton Hall hangs its hat on is really physical defense. They are going to be up in your space. They're going to be inside your jersey. They're going to be hacking and clawing and grabbing, and you can't go backwards, John. You have to rip and drive, get to the rim, try to get to the free throw line, and uh, play with confidence and trust each other out there on the court. And that's a good point of the uh, quick turnaround, but it's a team you're familiar with. They they have changed a little bit. They lost some of their toughness, as we heard Dave Pop can tell us in the opposing uh, uh, team interview. So it is a little different, but it's still a team you saw a year ago, so you rather have that than a team you know nothing about when you have a quick turnaround a day to get ready for them. Yeah, you know this. Uh, Alamir Daz, a senior. Three seniors in the back court. Dawes averages 11. Kadari Richmond is, is their star player. Hang your hat on him. He, he leads the team in scoring, rebounding, assists, minutes played, uh, all, all that. He's a senior as well. And Dylan Otterwasu, another senior. He's an eight-point scorer, five rebounds, a couple assists. So uh, the, a forward in there, Dre Davis. He's 6'5", a little bit undersized forward, but uh, he's averaging 13 and 5. And they have that tough East Coast mentality. Betty Ako, you better get him off the uh, offensive glass because this kid will climb the uh, the board. He goes after everything up there. He's a grad student, but he averages 10.6 rebounds. He had a bunch of offensive rebounds against a tall USC team as we watched that first half of the game yesterday, and the comeback was impressive. When we got back to the hotel, yeah. the second half was on, and, and it, it amazed me. I thought they were dead in the water. Just looked like a different team. Yeah. And you talked about they picked up the defense. Uh, they went to that pressure, and USC had trouble handling it and forced uh, 19 turnovers total. So the Hawk guys got to be smart, got to be tough with the ball today. Yeah, the, the Hawk guards are, will be smarter than than what we saw yesterday against USC because they were throwing it all over the gym uh, against that full-court pressure. But, uh, again, they were going backwards a little bit, trying to throw it over the top, and, and uh, Seton Hall got the momentum swung really quick in that game. It was surprising. And uh, you know what? The, for the Hawk guys, the good thing is, well, maybe they used up a lot of energy. They got back later than we did uh, to the hotel. But uh, this is going to be a tough test. You're another good test for the Hawkeyes. It'll test your toughness, I think. You know, you know, it's not not physically beating up anybody, but it's going to be how are you going to handle this pressure? How are you going to handle these guys on the board? Because they got some size. They have rim runners. These guys will take off from the wings and come and crash that offensive glass. All five guys better be blocking somebody out. Even if it isn't your man, go find somebody and keep them off there. You can't run if you don't have the basketball. We continue to get you ready for the consolation game of the Rady Children's Invitational here in La Jolla, California. The Hawkeyes and the Pirates of Seton Hall. Our pregame chat with Iowa head coach Fran McCaffrey was brought to you by K.C. Nielsen. K.C. Nielsen, your premier John Deere dealer serving northern Iowa and southern Minnesota. They offer parts, sales, and service on all John Deere equipment. K.C. Nielsen has been family-owned and operated since 1946. You can learn more at K.C. Nielsen dot com.
Is your small business ready for a big promotion? Well, to support and celebrate small businesses, United Healthcare and Hawkeye Athletics are teaming up for the spotlight on small business sweepstakes. Winners receive radio promotion, social media recognition, and more. To enter, visit HawkeyeSports.com slash UHC. United Healthcare is a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Well, we'll talk more about this one and get Bobby Hansen's Club Car Wash keys to the game as the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show rolls on after this. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. The big game. Family. Friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. When it comes to your health, you need the full picture. That means the right diagnosis and the right treatment right from the start. I'm Aaron Bowes, pediatric neurologist with University of Iowa Healthcare. Here, we're working together every day to advance medicine so you can get the best care. With more research, more clinical trials, and more treatment options than anywhere else in the state, the University of Iowa Healthcare is changing medicine and changing lives. Learn more at uihc.org. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at hy V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the hy V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the hy V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for hy V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. Welcome to the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show, delivering opportunities and results for Iowa's 40,000 soybean farmers. Getting ready for the Hawkeye men's basketball team to take on Seton Hall this afternoon here in La Jolla, California. John Swisher, Bobby Hansen back with you and a late start on the championship game before us and a uh, longer game at the end. Went down to the uh, wire as Oklahoma, the team that beat the Hawkeyes yesterday, 79-67, knocked off number 23 USC this afternoon just a little bit ago here at Lion Tree Arena, 72-70. 
the finals. So it'll be a little later start than we expected here this afternoon for this contest, the Hawkeyes and Seton Hall. As we keep you company before we uh, get going, right now it's time to take a look at Bobby's Keys of the Game, brought to you by the official car wash of the Iowa Hawkeyes, Club Car Wash, with unlimited membership starting at just $20 a month. There's no better time to join the club. Visit clubcarwash.com to find a location near you. We've talked about some points of emphasis of what the Hawkeyes need to, need to be better, but we take a in-depth look and we dive deeper into uh, your keys to the game. Yeah, John, this is, you know, this break between games is kind of like an NCAA tournament game where, you know, it could go into double overtime, so you got to be uh, got to be ready, and that's what these kids have been sitting around. You know, I'm sure they didn't get a ton of sleep last night. You think about every missed shot. What you could have done better? Did you miss a rebound? Did you have a one of those 14 turnovers, uncharacteristic turnovers that you had? So, uh, you know, I think the number one key that uh, I thought about here this morning writing, writing these things down is energy. Energy, a tough one yesterday. We all understand that. And Seton Hall uh, pushed USC to the final buzzer. So whoever can get their energy going early, I think, will have an advantage. Seton Hall started really, really slow yesterday. And we heard their radio man, Dave Popkin, talk about the long flight, the delays in flight from East Coast to West Coast here. So they got it going in the second half. It, it was incredible the, how they flipped the switch there. And they did that, getting their energy going with full court pressure. They really got up and, and got after the USC guards. They force, what, 19 turnovers, which is an incredible amount of turnovers. So you really need to get going right from the from Jump Street, get right from the opening tip. You've got to attack early. And, and if Fran sees that he doesn't have that energy, I expect him to go to the bench early and uh, get that second unit guys in there that uh, uh, brought some energy. Brock Harding, you know, he is constantly attacking. Uh, Owen Freeman was phenomenal on the glass inside. Laji Dembele was all over the floor. So uh, look for that second unit. If you don't get the energy out of the first, group second unit will, will be in there early second key is going to be turnovers you need to reduce the, the number of turnovers the hawks are not a turnover prone team john you know I, I, to me you, you know if you hit 10 that's probably a lot for the hawkeyes we have had halves this season where you had one turnover just two turnovers the 14 yesterday was a lot and uh, you know, uh, so you can't have that again you need to reduce that number down to a more manageable number now the problem is seton hall are, are really tough defensive guys that are going to be after the guards are going to put a lot of pressure on the ball so you got to play through contact you got to value possession of the basketball you got to have to handle their full court pressure forcing those 19 turnovers and don't be looking at the referees to bail you out either because these guys are notorious for letting them play they, they just kind of like an ncaa tournament game it's it's just good physical play third key i got is you got to make shots you know <laughs> the shots will make it shots will cover up a lot of deficiency in your game in particular john you've got to make three points field goals. The Hawks are a much better shooting team than they showed us yesterday versus Oklahoma. So you got to shoot it with confidence. Find the hot hand. If there's a guy that's cooking, you got to go back to him. And the Hawks do that. We just couldn't find that guy yesterday. So at the end of the game yesterday, you heard Fran talk about it as well. Brock Harding had two made threes at the end. One on a pull up, a nice fast break back basket that he made from three. Josh Dix also got going. We got to get more out of Josh Dix. He is such a good shooter. So uh, you ended those game, that game with three made three so hope that carries over and uh, we're going to add another key just because we got more time here so the fourth key is going to be the boards it's, it's going to be the glass you you got to have to have a great effort on the glass once again you know, Hawks were, were really good they were plus nine I think in the game yesterday it gets a really good rebounding Oklahoma team that crashes the offensive glass so those four keys you, you, you check those off and think the Hawks come out of here uh, victors that was a big plus yesterday the rebounding in that uh, game you thought if you could do that Coach McCaffrey uh, surely thought if if he saw that number, he thought the team probably would have won yeah. that game because that was a, a main staple on the game plan notes heading into that game uh, against Oklahoma yesterday. It doesn't always work out that way, but that's one thing they hope to carry over today for sure is the rebounding. You mentioned the turnovers, and uh, some of them were uh, unforced variety. You give credit to uh, Oklahoma 
Oklahoma for some of them as uh, well. But uh, turnovers, uh, staying within yourselves, not trying to do too much. We saw that at times from some of the players yesterday, and that's a result of turnovers. So as you talked about, you just got to stay uh, mentally locked in and, and do what you can control. Yeah, be the best that you are. You know, know that what your role is on the team and, and be the, you know, just, just do your job, basically. Don't try to do something else. But what I saw yesterday was guys weren't on the same page for whatever reason, and, and it just seemed like they were out of sorts a little bit. Maybe that's a little bit of the travel, but you're going to have to do that now with these four West Coast teams coming in starting next year. You're going to be uh, all over the map with, with games. So that's where the mental focus, these guys do a great job. These coaches do a great job of preparing these guys. They give them the necessary information. They don't overload them, but you got to pay attention to it. you got to process. And the biggest thing I always go back to is you got to trust your teammates, John. And uh, don't, I didn't see a lot of infighting or any infighting. I thought I just saw frustration in, in, on the faces of the Hawkeyes yesterday when they couldn't make shots. Anytime you're used to making shots and the shots don't drop, it just kind of wears on you. But you got to forget it. The next one's going in. Do something positive. Get an offensive rebound. Get a loose ball. Get a steal. Make an assist. So there, there's a lot of things in basketball that you can do positive rather than just making shots. But when you make shots, you look good. That frustration, knowing you are better and wanting to play like it, and that's what we hope to see today. Hawkeyes getting ready to take on Seton Hall. Bobby's Keys of the Game brought to you, of course, by official car wash of the Hawkeyes Club. Car wash. Hawk fans, experience your home away from home at Coralville's finest all-suite hotels. Homewood Suites and Home 2 Suites by Hilton. Each offer guests spacious suites, complimentary breakfast, 24-hour fitness center, pool, hot tub, guest laundry, and convenient locations. Let their warm and friendly staff take care of you and your family when you visit Hawkeye Country, where the Hawkeye Radio Network team stays. We're, we're in Iowa City. As right now, let's uh, step out. We owe our stations an identification, a station ID break now across all 40 stations strong on the Hawkeye Radio Network. You're listening to Hawkeye Men's Basketball. More pregame notes in the Mid-American Energy starting lineups and the Farmers State Bank tip-off are coming up. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. American Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. What are you craving? The Wig and Pen in Ankeny, across from DMAC, is proud to offer dine-in and carry-out. Home of the famous Flying Tomato Pizza and Chicago-style deep dish, the Wig has all of your favorites, including thin crust pizza, appetizers, lots of sandwiches like the Turkey Club and Reuben, soups and salads you'll love, and a full bar. Call to order or just come on in for lunch and dinner. The Wig and Pen in Ankeny, what are you craving? Right now, you are not in the crowded Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering a Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The Countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon call, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See Credit Union for details. Inside Lion Tree Arena here in La Jolla, California, getting ready for Hawkeye men's basketball. The Hawks taking on the Pirates of Seton Hall as Seton Hall with a 4-1 record after yesterday's defeat to USC. 
Shaheen Holloway is the head coach for Seton Hall. She has a career record of 85 and 71 in sixth season overall. This is the second campaign at his alma mater, Seton Hall, 21 and 7. Mark, who was a standout for the Pirates, 1996 to 2000, came back and was assistant coach, became an associate uh, head coach, and then uh, went out and uh, coached St. Peter's for uh, three years, where he made a name, of course, for himself, Elite Eight in uh, 2022. And last year, uh, taking the reins as the head coach, it was the best first year for a head coach in Seton Hall program history with 17 wins, 10 Big East wins, and six uh, road wins for the uh, Seton Hall Pirates. The first, the, uh, first postseason berth in uh, a season for a first-year head coach since Tommy Amaker back in 1997-98 when he was the head coach of uh, Seton Hall. So Shaheen Holloway back at his alma mater in his uh, second year. And, uh, we knew how uh, great that run was in St. Peter's in Elite Eight in 2022. And, and that's how you build your coaching resume. You build teams up like that, lower-level teams, and you get to come back where you want to. Uh, some coaches want to return to their alma maters, and Coach Holloway did, and now he's ahead of this program now, trying to build this program up and get them back to where they once were. Yeah, great hire. Great hire for Seton Hall, and they've had some great coaches all the way back to what I can remember, Bill Raftery, who, yes. who's on Fox Television. Bill was one of the all-time greats uh, coaching uh, there at Seton Hall, but Shaheen was a great player at, at Seton Hall, and it was a lot of fun to watch that run, that uh, the small school that's in the uh, same conference as where Fran coached Siena. Yeah. Uh, the MAC conference, I believe, is what it is, but Boy, did they have a magical run a couple of years ago. And the Elite Eight, as you mentioned, John, the St. Peter's Peacocks, uh, they're in, in uh, tough parts of, uh, of New Jersey. And, and uh, But to bring him back home to uh, Seton Hall, good hire. And reading his bio earlier today, uh, you know, they upset people is what they do because they play hard. They play defense. They play with toughness. They don't worry about the last play. They move on to the next play. And they're going to crash the offensive glass. Uh, you know, they may turn it over a little bit. They're not a great three-point shooting team. They're hovering around just above 30% as a three-point team. But they'll put it on the floor, drive you, get to the basket, get you in some foul trouble. So, again, the Hawkeye uh, exterior defense will be tested. You can't – a lot of the problems, you know, you, you know, with the kick-out threes and, and that is you got to stop the ball. You have to stop dribbling penetration you have to square your man up you got to move your feet if if he's quicker than you are give him some room give him an arm's length room so you can move your feet and cut him off dare him to shoot that three if they're not a good three-point uh, shooting basketball team but know who the shooters are know who the drivers are and know who the poor free throw shooters are so uh, you don't give them any easy layups take a foul put them at the free throw line those four wins so far for seton hall st peter's the uh, former coach uh, former team for coach holloway beat them 70 to 59 FDU 8555, Albany 9671, and Wagner 7251. All home games, so 4 0 home record for the uh, Pirates so far in the season. 0 and 1 neutral. That was yesterday losing to USC, number 23, USC 71 to 63. No away games yet on the season for Seton Hall. For head coach Fran McCaffrey and the Hawkeyes, 14th season at Iowa for Coach McCaffrey, started in 2010, 264 and 177. He needs just eight wins to pass Dr. Dr. Tom Davis, who had 271 wins at Iowa to become the winningest coach in Hawkeye history. Fran's 28th year overall since 1985. 515 victories, 350 Four losses. So trying to become the uh, leading coach in Iowa history. He'll get there before this season's uh, over. Just a matter of when with only eight wins. And Dr. Tom, of course, uh, uh, Lou Olson, uh, two of the, the best in the program. Ralph Miller, Safran uh, climbing uh, past the chart. It's some of the greats in Iowa. Hawkeye men's history, Bobby. Yeah, the, the Hawkeye legends you just mentioned there. All those guys. Dr. Tom Davis, I'm sure, would be very proud of uh, when, when uh, Fran McCaffrey reaches that milestone. And with one more Big Ten victory. I think he's tied with Dr. Tom right. right now, but yes. one more. That next Big Ten victory, will be he will be the all-time winningest uh, coach in Iowa history of Big Ten wins. So he's done an outstanding job here bringing the Hawkeye basketball program back uh, in his, now in his 14th year. Now you got to take that next step. And uh, doing it, uh, you know, I really like the future when you look at these freshmen. We can talk about those guys. I mean, let's talk about Owen Freeman, the job he did last night. He just keeps getting better and better. Nothing phases that kid. He's a good free 
free-throw shooter, ability to step out and take a three. He does, he's does. he got some good moves around the basket. We remember that move yesterday against Big John Hughley the fourth. He caught it in the low block, spun quickly to the baseline side and dunked it in the end one and made the free throw. So he, he's really progressing. And the Moline duo there, Brock Harding and Owen Freeman, I bet we see a lot of them on the court tonight. I think Brock Harding, we talked about this off the air, he stuck out to me, the six-foot freshman. Uh, he just looks like he belongs out there, and uh, he really looked poised. He hit a couple late threes yesterday when, uh, fortunately, it was out of hand. But uh, I just like how he handles the ball and how confident he looks as a freshman. Yeah, that's what you got to have, man. You, you got to go out there and act like you belong. You got to have that confidence. And he's always got his head up. He's always looking to make a pass. He doesn't look to make spectacular passes. It just kind of ends up that way sometimes as he knows where Owen Freeman's going to be. They're, those two connect on the lobs a few times so far this year. Some backdoor cuts by Peyton Sanford are good. The Hawkeyes are a good passing team. They're an unselfish team. They're not afraid to, to move the ball. We've got good high-low action. Laji Dembele and Owen and Freeman have a nice connection inside with the Laji at the top of the key. Owen working inside. So look for the Hawkeyes to probably exploit that a little bit here this afternoon. We sure hope so. It's getting closer to the opening at tip-off. We'll take another timeout and come back. More of the Iowa Soybean Association pregame show rolls on after this. You're listening to Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime, But the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow grease, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! Not all internet is created equal. It's a lot like choosing a quarterback. Technically, you could sign up any new rookie provider on the block, but the success of every device in your home depends on it. Will they perform in the clutch, or will they buffer under pressure? Extreme provides the speed you need with a 100% gigabit technology network and amplified Wi-Fi. And unlike signing a quarterback, Extreme Internet requires no contracts. There's only one pick to lead your team. It's Extreme, powered by Mediacom. Along with in-studio producer back in Jefferson City, Missouri, the heart of Learfield, one of the controls running the ship, Lacey Williams. Glad to have her along this afternoon. John Swisher, Bobby Hanson, courtside here in La Jolla, California, home of the Tritons of UC San Diego. Hawkeyes and Seton Hall getting ready to meet in men's basketball for the fourth time ever. The first time was back in 1982, December 29th in Rochester, New York, a holiday tournament. Hawks won 85-63. You faintly remember that one? Oh, at Rochester? <laughs> yeah, that was a holiday tournament uh, right ahead of the New Year's. Um, I can't remember what they called it, but it was in old War Memorial Coliseum. And I remember it being cold in that arena. But, uh, yeah, we got the victory. <laughs> Don't remember much about the game. I remember big Greg Stokes. He had a heck of a game. I think Stoker had... Uh, 
20 points and close to 10 rebounds. Hawks won 20 by 22, 85-67. They've won uh, two of the three uh, matchups. Last year we talked about a historical moment, 83-67. The loss came in 2016, the first year of the Gavitt games. That was in Iowa City. Seton Hall winning 91-83. to You look at some of the uh, numbers in this one. Hawkeyes 89 points per game. That's 15th of the country. Defense 76 points per game as for Seton Hall 77 points per game 154th in the country defense they rank 32nd second in the Big East with uh, just allowing 61 points per game so that's where the Hawkeye offense trying to be better than that defense of uh, Seton Hall and the Hawkeye uh, defense has to be uh, good here today against the Pirates as we take a look at the starting lineups First for Seton Hall, Dylan Aday Wusu is a 6'4 senior guard from the Bronx, New York. Kadari Richmond, he's the uh, man that makes the Pirates go. A 6'6 guard senior from Brooklyn, New York. And the third senior, the uh, three guard matchup here for the Hawkeyes, Alamir Dars. Dars, the uh, main shooter on the team, 6'2 senior from Newark, New Jersey, right uh, where the uh, Seton Hall Pirates are located. And the other two starters, Dre Davis, who uh, led the way with 13 points last year in the game against the Hawkeyes. Davis is a guard slash forward, 6'5 in stature. He's senior from Indianapolis, Indiana. Jaden Bendiaco, Bendiaco, a 6'10 center guard from Brampton, Ontario. As the Hawkeyes will start their same lineup, Asante Bowen, the 6'2 guard, sophomore from Boston, Massachusetts. Tony Perkins, the 6'4 guard, senior from Indianapolis, Indiana. Peyton Sanford, the 6'7 forward, junior from Waukee. Patrick McCaffrey, the 6'9 forward, redshirt senior from Iowa City, Iowa. Ben Cricky, the 6'9 forward, the graduate from Edmonton, Alberta. Starting lineups for head coach Fran McCaffrey in his 14th season and second year head coach Shaheen Holloway. The game officials, Jerry Pollard, Randy McCall, and Nathan Farrell getting ready for this matchup. The Hawkeyes and the Pirates of Seton Hall are starting lineups brought to you by Mid-American Energy. Mid-American Energy makes reliability a slam dunk with a balanced energy mix of wind, solar, and other sources that ensure you always have the power you count, can count on. Learn more at midamericanenergy.com. As the Farmer State Bank tip-off with uh, Iowa and Seton Hall coming up shortly. As today's opening tip is brought to you by Farmers State Bank. Earn $250 when you open an eligible checking account at the Tiffin branch or online. Get rewarded for banking with FSB. Visit myfsbonline.com for complete details. Subject to approval, minimal $50 deposit requires e-statements and direct deposit member FDIC Bobby we've almost talked about almost everything you could mention every stat yep. every uh, a positive and negative that both of these teams did in yesterday's games it's almost time finally to see who can come out and who can uh, set the tone and and uh, what team is going to do what early on here to try to force their will on each other agreed 100 percent and I think the uh, start of the game is, is going to be very critical to how this thing ends uh, you got to come out with energy and forget about yesterday today it's a new day today and uh, get your we need to, we haven't talked about ben cricky maybe enough uh, you know ben had a tough one yesterday he only had 11 points he's been up around 20 points in, in a lot of these games so see if we can get ben going and get him attacking the basket with that left hand and get to the free throw line as well because he's a good free throw shooter he's only about 55 percent right now but i trust him at the free throw line and big ben uh Peyton Sanford is the other one I'm looking at there on the court with these guys. Yeah, Peyton, uh, get him a good look early. Uh, and Tony Perkins as well. Got to get Tony attacking off the dribble, get him get him going to the basket. He, he's our he's our best defender out there, and uh, he'll be a, he'll be assigned to Kadari Richmond. We'll see how that matchup goes. Kirky, of course, coming off that Big Ten Player of the Week uh, honors last week for his good efforts against Creighton and Arkansas State. As we're almost ready. We wait for TV to join us, and we are we're ready. ready to go. All right. Already, we we're, we're ready to start here. Only 
19 minutes after original start time here this afternoon. 519 back in Iowa. Hawkeye men's basketball. John and Bobby, glad to bring it to you from California, just 14 miles away from San Diego. The tip is controlled by Seton Hall as they move left to right, right in front of us. We're just to the left of the Hawkeye bench. Kadari Richmond picked up by Tony Perkins. Swings it left side to Alamir Dawes. Now dribbling to the top of the key is Ade Wusu. Here's Dre Davis. Everybody getting a touch on it. The first possession. Nine on the shot clock. A little floater inside the lane. 14 footer, no good. Pinballed around. Controlled by Dre Davis coming up with it. And a little contact foul. Just accidental bumping into him. Bowen trying to come and get that ball. But he bumped into Davis, who already had possession of it. The 6 5 senior wins the battle that time. First foul on Bowen. Well, you see what's going to happen there. Those guys are rim runners. They're starting out in the wings. They just spread it out. And when that shot goes up, three guys crash the offensive glass. 19 and a half to go in the first half. Seton Hall, 20 on the shot clock. Inside to Davis. Nice bounce pass inside. Is blocked away by McCaffrey from behind. But getting the rebound on the back side was Bediaco, the 6'10 senior. Bediaco gets the basket off the glass. And good. It's 2-0. Seton Hall, Cricky to Perkins. Now to Sanford, knocked away, trying to get it to Cricky. Here's Sanford, gets it back for a three, no good off the mark right side, trying to draw the contact, nothing doing. Seton Hall comes back with it. All the way in, Davis, finger roll, left it short, pinballs around, going to get it to Davis, but the Hawks knock it away. Bowen and Sanford right there. Sanford gets it ahead to Tony. Perkins, left side, McCaffrey for a three, no good, off the mark, back side, and the rebound by Seton Hall. 2-0, Pirates, 18-40 and counting in this first half. Right side with it is Richmond. Hesitation three. Rainbow Archer no good over Patrick McCaffrey. Backside board by Perkins. Off and running. Tony sees a lane to the hoop and slams it in. The one-handed slammer by Tony Perkins, and we're tied at two. That sets the stage right there. Tony saw the lane open up. Nobody stops the basketball. Tony Perkins coast to coast for the dunk. Great court vision by the senior Tony Perkins. Not taking no for an answer there. Just going all the way in. And dunking it in for the tie ball game. 18 minutes to go. Eight on the shot clock. Here's a floater. No good. Off the mark right side. But a rebound by Ade Wusu, the 6'4 senior. Now a drive. Right hand floater left up there. No good. A rebound. This is put up. A jump hook. That's no good off the backside. But Ben Diaco and the Hawkeyes get the rebound. Here's Tony Perkins. A three-pointer. Pulls up for the right wing. Tony knocks it down. 5-2. Hawkeyes lead. 17 and a half to go. That's great to see a three-pointer early in the game. Absolutely. That's the start you want. That's four in a row for the Hawkeyes after they finish the game with three made three-point field goals. But Tony's got that look in his eye like he's going to carry this team. Left corner. Here's a three by Davis. No good off the backside. Skied for the rebound. McCaffrey comes up with it. Pushes it ahead. Sanford has him there. Loses the ball. Gets it back. A left-handed jump hook. Twirls around. Right side. No good. Rebounded by the big fella underneath Bediaco. And back comes Seton Hall. Hawks lead 5-2. 17 minutes to go here in the first half. Drive by Davis. Patrick guarding him, forcing the baseline. He kicks it out. Top of the key three. That's no good. Front side rebound by McCaffrey. Missed shot by Dawes. Left side, Perkins has it. Three-point lead for the Hawkeyes. Perkins wide open. Cricky left-handed on the left side off the glass. And Coach Holloway wants a timeout. Great start for the Hawkeyes as they lead 7-2. Absolutely great start it was. It's all fueled by Tony Perkins and the defensive rebounds. Once again, we don't have any stats so we're just going to try to remember it. But uh, the uh, then the rebounding numbers and, and the Hawks are keeping Seton Hall who's not a good shooting team. They're keeping them on the perimeter uh, here and uh, rebound the basketball and run it. And they got them on the ropes right now. Shaheen has given it to his team. 16-49 to go in the first half. Hawks by 5, 7-2. To there we got some 7-0 run. Stats indeed over the last 1 minute and 42. 1 for 10 is Seton Hall to start the game. Good D. Hawks are 3 of 6. Perkins has a couple baskets. More importantly, uh, importantly, we talked about getting that lit off the three-point range as we didn't get there until late in the second half yesterday. 
Yeah, absolutely. And uh, the Hawkeyes uh, three-point shooting uh, just just one for three, but that one by Tony was a big one. The Hawks three out of six, and uh, now back on the defensive end here. Keep up that intensity. Seton Hall has it in front of us. Double team. Now Sanford backs away one on one. Cricky guarding Bediaco, and Bediaco wins that battle that time. Little jump hook from three feet out, and it's seven four. Hawks by three. Sixteen minutes to go in this first half of play. McCaffrey swings it up top to Tony. 15 on the shot clock. Hesitation between the legs. Dribble to the top of the key. Passes left side. Sanford winds up with it. Back to Cricky. Long two. Got it to go. Cricky knocks it down. Hawks back up by 5-9-4. We saw that over in Omaha. That mid-range game. Ben Cricky pulled him the big fella away. That time Peyton Sanford the pretty assist to the open Ben Cricky from 15. Here's a three. Right side. No good off the back side. That was attempted by Ade Wusu. Rebound by Betty Ako. Up top with it is uh, Alamir Dawes. Dawes guarded by Cricky. Ten on the shot clock. Davis has it. Swings it right side. Short corner on the baseline. Pass across the lane. Up. No good. Left is short. Good defense by Cricky. Guarding Betty Ako. Sanford comes away with it. Hawks lead. 9-4. 15 and a half to go. Nice pass inside. There's contact. And one. Cricky gets it to go high off the glass. And he's fouled. Great assist by Peyton Sanford. Hawks lead 11-4. Our first media timeout. Hawkeye fans, you can drive your team to a win this season by filling up with unleaded 88 with quick rewards at any quick star location. Fuel up with eight gallons or more of unleaded 88 and you'll be automatically entered for a chance to win great prize packs throughout the season. Quick star, proud partner of Hawkeye basketball. 15.32 to go in the first half. Hawks lead 11-4. This is Hawkeye basketball presented by Walmart. Blue Cross Blue Shield from Lear when the game goes into overtime, but the game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. At MidAmerican Energy, our 1.6 million customers depend on our energy 24-7. That's why we work 24-7 to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. To keep our 99.9% reliability record, we're enhancing our technology, improving resiliency, and investing in critical infrastructure. We're generating power from all available resources to cover any increases in demand. And we're innovating to ensure you always have the energy you need. MidAmerican Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. The silly moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments. They're what make life remarkable. And they're why Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield is here for every moment. Committed to making healthcare better, more affordable, with more choices for care. And service and coverage that give you peace of mind no matter what comes your way. So you can show up for every tender moment, every brave moment, and every wouldn't miss it for the world moment. Knowing that blue is here for you. Go to wellmark.com slash every moment to find a plan right for you. Fifteen thirty-two to go in the first half. Eleven four. Hawkeyes with the seven-point lead and a tremendous start, Bobby. Great start by the Hawkeyes. Sixty-three percent from the floor. Five out of eight. Defense is uh, outstanding. Two out of thirteen. Holding Seton Hall to just two out of thirteen. Rebounding though, we're getting uh, beat on the boards by a couple. Eight to six. Five offensive rebounds. But that Betty Ako is a, is a load in there. He's just long. He's tall. Just reaching over the top of the Hawkeyes. So just keep putting the pressure on him. Keep running. I, I, I see Seton Hall a little bit gassed early there. Had to. Call that quick timeout, though, but that is going to be the Hawkeye magic here this afternoon is run, 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 run Seton Hall out of here. We talked about every day is different, every game is different with matchups and feel, and it just looks like a different team. They just look like they have a, a different pep in their step, more confident. Tony Perkins coming out, nailing a couple of shots, and that's how uh, confidence is bred. Yeah, absolutely. That and rebounding. You know, you just everybody get in there and, and help out. Rebound the basketball, but Tony Perkins certainly got the Hawkeyes off to a great start with that dunk, that coast-to-coast -coast dunk, and then the three-pointer, and the confidence grew from there. So Cricky trying to complete the three-point play. Had a couple of those yesterday as well. Has been Cricky on the free-throw line. 
Coming in, a 64% free throw shooter. It's Cricky with six points so far. Going for his first free throw of the late afternoon. And it's up and right through for Cricky. And the Hawks lead by eight. 12-4, the advantage. 15 and a half to go here in the first half of play. A little pressure now put on by the Hawks. As getting it over to Davis was Adewusu. Short corner. This is Richmond. Turn around, left hand off the right side. No good. Pops out. And McCaffrey comes away with it. Patrick off and run it. Right side pass to Sanford. Baseline wide open. Cricky. Great unselfish pass. Tony with the finish. And he's fouled to go to the line to shoot. Great passing by the Hawkeyes. Court vision sharing the ball. Cricky could have probably taken it up, but that extra pass and Tony's going to the line for a three point play. Yeah, it starts with the rebounding. The defensive board there. They got it out and ran, and then the unselfish passing by the Hawkeyes, as you mentioned. So Cricky just beat his man down the court. Can't keep up with him and found Tony Perkins. Perkins inside. And another three-point play. Second for the Hawks. Perkins gets this one. So he comes in a 73% free throw shooter. Hawks lead extends to 11. 15 to 4. 15 minutes and counting in his first half. Pressure again put on by the Hawks. It will pass it over. Richmond has it up top. Left-handed thigh high dribble guarded by Bowen. Now Dawes has it. Gives it up. Top is Ade Wusu, the 6'4 senior from Bronx, New York. Hand off. Ade Wusu comes around the corner. And they send it back out. Six on the shot clock. Davis has it up top. Guarded by Perkins. He drives. Puts it up. Eye off the window. Rolls around and plops on down for the basket. It's 15 to 6. Hawkeyes, 14 and a half to go. Heck of a move by Dre Davis as he got up in the paint or got up in the air and nowhere to go and threw it up on the glass for the two. Inside. Cricky looking. Passes it out. Bowen drives. Little contact. Nothing doing. And the defender falls down, and the official says Bowen slid his foot for a travel. We go back the other way. As Coach McCaffrey asking the official what he saw, he thought it was a jump stop. There was a little contact there. The defender fell down, and the official blew his whistle and called Bowen for the travel. Life goes on, 15-6, 14 minutes to go here in the first half. Richmond gives it up, up top with it. Travel. Not called. Davis inside, and he gets hit. Cricky thought he got the ball. Sanford thought he pushed off, but instead it will be a foul on Ben Cricky. And to the line will go Dre Davis. Second Hawkeye foul. Seton Hall has two team fouls as well. A couple Hawkeye substitutes in. After this first free throw by Davis, it's up and good. Josh Dix and Owen Freeman in for the first time. For Dre Davis, he is a 87% free throw shooter coming in 13 of 15 on the season. And five games played for both of these. Game number six here this afternoon in the consolation game of the Rady Children's Invitational. Second one for Davis is good. It's 15 to eight. Seven-point Hawkeye lead, just under 14 minutes to play in the first half. Hand off to Sanford, coming around the screen. Three-pointer, got it to go. Peyton Sanford, the three ball, gives the Hawks the 10-point lead, largest lead of the ball game. Look out now. <laughs> Peyton Sanford is looking to get the basketball and, and score. That he came off a screen set up there. I think it was Owen Freeman. There's a pass left side. Davis guarded by Sanford. Davis all the way in. Puts it up. No good. Pops out right side. Sanford battles in there for the rebound. Coming back the other way. Peyton guarded by Davis. Bounce pass left side. Freeman. Freeman backs down defender. And he oh, gets hit. Yeah. Just taking the ball away was Richmond. Looked like some contact. Nothing doing. Up off the glass. No good. Pinballed around. Seton Hall comes up with it. Here's a deep three. Left wing. Alamir Dawes gets the three-pointer. The 6'2 senior from Newark, New Jersey, cuts the lead to 7. 18-11 Hawks, 13 minutes to go first half. Inside, Cricky, nice move off the glass and good. Just bodied his way through that lane and faded away off the window and good. Hawks back up by 9, 20 to 11. And nine points for Ben Cricky uh, early in the game here. Just kept going. They never took that left hand away. Keep going to Ben. Four of four from the field is Cricky. One of one from the free throw line. 12-40 and counting here 
with 12 in the shot clock. Almost traveled, got rid of it. Right side in front of us with eight in the shot clock. Richmond inside, a new face in there, put up, no good. It's partially deflected away. The new man is Ardo Azadagani as he's the uh, 6'10 freshman from Ankara, Turkey. Here's a handoff to Sanford, 20 to 11. 12-10 to go. Here's a left-handed reverse layup. No good. Freeman gets it back after tipped it up, put it up, and in. Second try for Owen, and the Hawks lead by 11, their largest lead. Just stayed with it right there. The first one didn't drop. Just tippy-toed and jumped over the top of the Seton Hall defender. Owen Freeman, his first basket. Driving in, left side. It twirls around. They've had several. Oh. And grabbing the rebound, Cricky collides with his own teammate, Freeman. will be out of bounds. Seton Hall basketball. There's our second media timeout with 11.51 to go. You can set up the best zone defense from home. Hey, heating costs this winter. Tune up your furnace. Seal up drafts around your home and visit midamericanenergy.com to find more ways to keep warm with less energy. Hawkeyes lead 22 to 11 11 51 to go in the first half this is hawkeye basketball presented by wellmark blue cross blue shield from learfield travel leaders destinations unlimited we provide experiential travel and vacation planning for hawkeye fans across the state contact one of our destination experts to start planning your next trip at duagency.com Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation? Our law firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. What happens when you call your insurance company? If you have water in your basement, press 1. Most big companies have a recorded message or an app. If you are in your living room and see sky when you look up, press 2. But when something bad happens, you just want to talk to a person. On a day like that, that phone line can end up feeling like a lifeline. At a time like that, you want a company like West Bend. Because the worst brings out our best. If there is a tree in your bedroom, press 3. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. If you're looking for the perfect place to host your holiday party, look no further. Come to Bumps at Finkbine. Have a good time as our new chef, Rick McCombs, provides an unforgettable experience. Don't forget about Thirsty Thursday Super Social Hour where Bumps offers buy one, get one free on domestic beer bottles, house wine, well cocktails, and appetizers. Not only is Bumps the ideal spot for Hawkeye pregaming, they also offer a fantastic Sunday brunch. Bumps is your one-stop spot for great food and a great time. Go to Finkbine.com for more information. Twenty-two to eleven, Hawkeyes lead. Eleven fifty-one to go in this first half. Off to a good start in this one. You can just tell playing hard really helps. Thing, of course, knocking shots down as well. But uh, just different uh, team like today with uh, the the intensity, the energy as you talked about. Yeah, I give credit to uh, the coaching staff getting this team ready. They didn't feel good about themselves when they walked out of this gym yesterday on Thanksgiving evening, but they regrouped and uh, had their meetings and put the scouting report in. Courtney Eldridge, the man, he's, he's got the huddle right now. He is intent keeping these guys going, but it's just it's playing hard, trusting each other. It's rebounding. The, the battle of the boards there. The Hawks now winning that 11-10, to 10, but the shooting, look at this. Hawks 9 out of 14. That is 65% and 2 of 4 from long range good for 50 percent the defense is outstanding it's airtight four of 20 uh, for Seton Hall uh, they just don't have any answer for how hard these Hawkeyes are playing and something we didn't uh, lead in that category against Oklahoma yesterday paint points 12 to 6 so far this afternoon yeah, getting to the basket. Ben Cricky, uh, our leading scorer now with nine points, but it started with Tony Perkins, end-to-end drive, and the dunk. Uh, Tony's got eight. Nine points for Cricky and eight for Tony Perkins. 11.51 to go here in the first half. Hawkeyes will be on defense in front of their own bench. University of Iowa Healthcare has a game plan for your same-day health care needs. If you need treatment for a common illness or minor injury, visit one of several UI Quick Care Urgent Care locations throughout the Iowa City Cedar Rapids corridor. Their care and expertise will help you get back in the game. UI Healthcare is proud to sponsor your Iowa Hawkeyes. Here we go. Seton Hall has the basketball. 
The new face in there, Isaiah Coleman, a 6'5 guard from Fredericksburg, Virginia. New face, also a new face, driving in. Ran into a defender and put it up on the right side of the backboard. So Drake and Yaganga is uh, in there. Owen Freeman with the block. He's the uh, 6'10 Angola native. As uh, Freeman, nice uh, job getting that block that time. Brock Harding is in. Josh Dick still in. Freeman in there. Peyton Sanford and uh, Laji Dembele in there as well. Five in the shot clock. Sanford gets the jumper to go from the left side about 10 feet out. Sanford with another bucket. 24-11 Hawks. Give Peyton five points. A three-pointer and that deuce right there. And He has got uh, that look in his eye like he is going to take over this game here in a minute. Hawks have their largest lead now. There's an easy basket inside. Jaquan Sanders, a 6-4 guard, splitting the defense down the lane off the glass and good. It's 24-13. Hawks did have their largest lead of 13. And now we have a holding foul called down low. His first, the third Pirate State foul. Called on Seton Hall, their third team foul. Hawks have two, 10.50 to go in the first half. Freeman, Dix driving in, puts it up. That's good. Pass the defender, Josh Dix, with his first basket, 26-13. Yeah, the Hawks waste no time there, and uh, they have some great out-of-bounds play Coach McCaffrey has on the underneath out-of-bounds. Dix comes from the right side, the offside, over to the strong side, catches it, and nobody at the rim. Dix, the layup. Inside, little fadeaway jumper, got it to go. Coleman, the freshman, makes it an 11-point game, 26-15, 10 20 to go. Harding has it up top, finds Dix, right elbow. Josh dribbles out, right wing, loses the ball. The Seton Hall defender dives on it, loses it out of bounds. It'll be Hawkeye basketball with 27 on the shot clock. Bryce Sanford will come in for his older brother. Peyton checks out. So sideline out of bounds. Coach McCaffrey asking the near side official about something here as Harding has it inside to Freeman. Left block. Right to left off the glass and good. Good move in there. Great footwork. Fake to the middle of the lane. Came back the other side and got the bucket to go. That's outstanding footwork that time by Owen Freeman. Fakes into the middle of the, of the paint and came back, spun back off the right foot with a left hand. Driving in, putting it up. No good by Richmond. Now we have a jump ball called. And it'll be Hawkeye basketball. The Hawks lead. 9.54 to go in the first half. 28-15. 13 is their largest advantage of this first half so far. Harding will bring it up. Dembele, Freeman, Bryce Sanford in there along with Josh Dix. Harding left side to Dix in the corner. Thought about a baseline drive. He'll dribble it back out. Now send it to Dembele. Oh, my. Almost gets tackled there as... Uh, okay, stumbled. Yeah. Held on to him. Two hands uh, automatic there as Bobby said. Lost his balance. Sadrake and Ganga. And Ganga. His first. Sadrake Nganga from Angola, the 6'10 sophomore, picks up the foul. Inside, Freeman out left side to Harding. 28-15, Hawks by 13. Harding drives baseline, nowhere to go. Kicks it out to Sanford. Price puts it up, no good. Left it short, tickles the uh, nylon. Other than that, an air ball. As all the way in, put up. That's no good. Good defense by Price Sanford. A wild shot out of control. Harding gives it up to Price Sanford. He's knocked down the process. Nothing doing. This is a shot left side. And Seton Hall coming back the other way. This is going to be a foul called on Josh Dix. As the pushing foul called on Dix there and going to the line will be the Seton Hall player. Coleman, Coleman. it looks like. Yes, thank you. Isaiah Coleman, the 6'5 guard. First man off the bench. As he shoots 78% from the free throw line. First one's up and right through. 28-16 Hawks, 9.02 to go in the first half. Coleman will have one more. Beware of the full court press coming if they make. 
Second one's up and spun, spin around. And it's going to be off of Seton Hall. Spun all the way around, popped out. And a handoff it was in Ganga, but out of bounds, Hawkeye basketball. 12 point lead, just under nine to play. Here's Harding, right handed, hip high dribble. Blows past his defender. Now trying to get it to Freeman, who was cutting toward the basket, but it's tipped away. Too low of a pass. Seton Hall player got his hands on it. And the Pirates come back with it. And too much contact, says the near side official, as Harding was bodying up Kadari Richmond. It's a senior working on a freshman right there, and Brock held his own, but got a little too tight underneath. That day, Wusu will take it out. We're in front of us. And the near side official telling the end of the Seton Hall bench to sit down, please. And they do. 28-16, eight and a half to go. Drive left side, spin around move. Passes it right side, but a low pass. It goes past Ade Wusu as Kadari Richmond drove. Another turnover for the Pirates. Yeah, and uh, good defense that time by the Hawkeyes. Got him spinning and nobody to throw it to in the corner. Only this, is that the first? I guess by their stats. We thought they at least had a couple. As here is Freeman. Dix now drives right side. Eight minutes to go. Harding a deep three, long distance, no good. Goes off the bottom of the backboard, backside, rebound by Nganga. Seton Hall comes back with it. Eight to play. Hawks lead by 12. Largest lead has been 13 a few times. And off to Richmond. Kadari, the 6'6 senior, leading score coming in for Seton Hall. Here's a three, right side, no good. As it rolls off the backside, rebound in the hands of Josh Dix. Dix pushing it right side, pull up, jumper, fade away, got it! Josh Dix with the bucket, his second, and the Hawks lead by their largest margin of 14. That's what we need out of Josh Dix. Instant offense off the bench. Shooting it with confidence, too, as he took it up. Nobody came to stop him. Seven and a half to play. Up top with it. Ade Usu. Hand off to Richmond. Loses the ball, but getting it back is Bediaco. Here's a three. Top of the key. No good. Off the back of the rim by Richmond. The Hawkeyes come away with it. Harding has it. Inside to Freeman. Nice fake move. That's going to be goaltending. Count it as Freeman will get credit for it as Nganga gets called for the goaltending and a media timeout, Hawks lead 32-16 with 7.05 to go in the first half as this is Hawkeye basketball presented by Wellmark, Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. I'm Ingrid Lizarraga, breast surgeon at the University of Iowa Holden Comprehensive Cancer Center, the state's only NCI-designated cancer center. Here, we look beyond just the type of cancer you have to discover the molecular details of the disease. We have teams dedicated to each cancer type, with treatments and trials you won't find anywhere else in Iowa. Go to uihc.org cancer. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. 
Hawkeyes lead 32 16, 7 05 to go in the first half. Bobby looks like a rule reversal. Looks like the Hawkeyes are playing Oklahoma, and Seton Hall is playing the Hawkeyes from yesterday. Seton Hall having trouble making shots, but the Hawkeyes can't do much wrong. Well, when your best player, Kadari Richmond, is held to zero, he's got uh, uh, 0 for 6 from, from the floor, uh, have missed both of his three point field goal attempts, have no points. He's our leading scorer, I believe, 15 a game, and yeah. uh, they've really held him in check, and I'll give Tony Perkins credit for that of getting him go. But also the bench has come in once again. Owen Freeman and um, uh, 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 Josh Dix, a couple of baskets. He got 10 points off the bench to just five for Seton Hall. So great start. But let's remember, they were down 20 to USC and <laughs> made a valiant comeback yesterday. Cannot forget that at all. They upped the defensive pressure and uh, forced 19 turnovers so far. The Hawks have just three turnovers to uh, at least two we're thinking for Seton Hall, even though the stats only say uh, one, so we'll go with that for now. Hawkeye fans, Walmart, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield knows you're here for every fadeaway, every alley-oop, every buzzer beater, and Walmart is here for every moment, too, with trusted health coverage committed to making health care better. Learn more at walmart.com slash hoops. 7.05 to go, first half. Hawkeyes lead by their largest margin so far this afternoon, 32-16. The consolation game of the... First annual Rady Children's Hospital Invitational. Oklahoma won the championship game earlier this afternoon over number 23 USC. A uh, tight one down to the wire, 72-70 Sooners prevailed over the Trojans. Here we go. Seton Hall has the ball going left to right. Length of the floor. 1-2-2 two, two pressure coming out of the timeout by the Hawkeyes. Davis gets it in front of us. Now gives it back up to Richmond up top. Guarded by Perkins. 6.50 to go in the first half. Pass right side. Ade Wusu. Back up top with it is Dawes. Inside. Now back out to Dawes. Seven on the shot clock. Inside. Bediako puts it up. No good off the back of the rim. And a good rebound. Dembele on the back side. Cricky spin around move. Baseline. Throws it right side. Sanford for a three. Spun around. Popped out. No good. Dembele will get called for a foul. Contact from behind, going for that rebound. We go the other way. They had an open look right there, Peyton. That thing was halfway down the well and popped back out. Lazi with great effort on the backside, called for the foul. 32-16. Box lead, 6.26 to go. Richmond will bring it up. Again, 1-2-2 pressure for the Hawks. Over the timeline, Ade Wusu. Back up top to Richmond. Bounce pass right side to Dawes. He brings it back up. Chest pass to Adewusu. They swing it to the corner. Richmond drives. Eight on the shot clock, and there is going to be a foul called on Dembele as the coaching staff not happy with where the call came. Dembele just picks up his second foul on the arm foul. The official telling Coach McCaffrey he's got the better angle. He saw the contact that the baseline official didn't there and that doesn't make uh, Coach McCaffrey like that call any better. Second foul, Lajie Dembele, but that was a hard foul and that's what you got to take. Guy was going to go up for a dunk and Lajie said, not in my house. Baseline inbounds. It was on the floor as Seton right Hall Yep, Richmond will get an inbound, left side. Ade Wusu, 15 on the shot clock. Looking, now baseline pass to Davis. Guarded by Dix, mismatch there, and able to knock it away. Ooh, that clean. Looked like mostly all ball, but the baseline official did not think so. On the arm, foul called on Josh Number Dix. Josh Dix will be foul, his second. As Davis will go to the line, he is two for two so far. Dre Davis, 6'5", senior from Indianapolis, Indiana. First one is up and right through. Dix comes out, Bowen back in, 32-17 now. 5.51 to go in the first half. Davis has one more. It's up and right through. 32-18. 
Pressure now put on by Seton Hall. Sanford gets over the timeline. Cricky and then almost bounced it off his leg, but from behind got hit. Good call there with some contact. Richmond can't believe it, but just the same stuff we see on the other side. Second foul on Kadari. So Richmond have to be smart here, and it looks like Coach Holloway is going to go to the bench here as Isaiah Coleman will check in. And Richmond will have a breather. 5.43 to go in the first half. Hawks lead by 14. But you see, that's the pressure that they will put on you in the full court. Bowen, bounce pass right side, Perkins. 15 on the shot clock. Hesitation, left-handed low dribble. Back to Tony, right side. Runs into a double team. It's hit and off the leg of Perkins. Take a look at that three, Tony. Wasn't anything on that drive. Tried Seton, to get in there. Seton Hall ramping up their defensive pressure here, as Bobby alluded to. And that's what they did to USC yesterday. Hawk guys got to be ready for it. They've got uh, four turnovers now. 32-18, 5-20 in county. Here's a handoff. Dawes dribbles to the top of the key. Picked up by Bowen. Left side pass. This is Coleman surveying from the left wing. Gets it in extended left block. Now inside to Davis. Guarded by Perkins. Puts it up. Bounds around. No good. Bounces off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Tony. Tony now over the timeline. With just under five to play. Hawkeye still the 14-point advantage. Cricky looking, nice pass, short corner. Sanford has nothing, though. Have to dribble out. 15 on the shot clock. Back to Cricky, little jumper. Baseline jumper, got it to go. Short corner, as you mentioned. That's that mid-range game. Ben Cricky so deadly there from 15 feet. He's got 11. Four and a half to go. Hawks back up by 16, 34-18. Left side is Coleman. Baseline dribble. Pull up jumper, fade away, air balled it. Ball gets batted away off of Bediaco, and the Hawkeyes will have it. 4.24 to go, 34-18 the advantage. Good defense. Price Sanford stayed right with the Seton Hall offensive player and forced a tough shot that time. It's Bowen Perkins, Peyton Sanford, Patrick McCaffrey, and Ben Cricky. The five for the Hawks. Perkins has it extended right wing. Cricky up top. Guarded by Bediaco all the way in. Tried to throw it across the lane to Peyton Sanford. It's picked off by Adewusu. Davis. Almost. Uh, Tony spiked hit, it. Yeah, hit by uh, McCaffrey. But then Tony came up and blocked it out of there. As Seton Hall step back three. No good. Bounces off McCaffrey, McCaffrey with the rebound. Patrick has it across the timeline. Gives it up to Cricky all the way in. That's going to be a blocking foul called. On Seton Hall, and Ben Cricky will have two shots when play resumes. Timeout on the floor with 3.47 to go. 34-18, Hawkeyes the advantage. This is Hawkeye basketball presented by Wellmark. Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. American Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Our mission at Oaknall is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknall is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknall.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. to go here in the first half. Hawkeyes lead 34-18 in the consolation game of the inaugural Rady Children's 
Hospital Invitational here in La Jolla, California. John Swisher, Bobby Hansen back with you. Right now it's time to take a timeout for station identification. All 40 plus stations strong on the Hawkeye Radio Network. You're listening to Hawkeye Men's Basketball. Sixteen point lead where it is now has been the largest. Hawks continue to play well. They yeah, really do. And uh, looking at the stat sheet uh, just handed to us, Hawkeye shooting sixty three percent from the floor, fifteen of twenty four of two of seven from three. Out rebounding Seton Hall twenty one to fifteen. Have taken really good care of the basketball. Just five turnovers and defense has been the best I've seen uh, this season. I, I think John and uh, the holding Seton Hall six of thirty two from the floor. That's less than twenty percent. That's nineteen percent uh, shooting by Seton. Hall. They can't find the basket and just one of eight from deep. And the Hawks finishing inside points in the paint, 18 to 10. Seton Hall has had several rush shots. Several shots have spun around the rim and gone out and credit defense for making Seton Hall rush that. Credit good defense. Yeah, you have to credit good defense and everybody's moving their feet. They're talking. They're alert. They're coming over to help. Owen Freeman, Laji Dembele off the bench have been rim protectors there for the Hawkeyes and everybody's on the board. So just a great start. We've got to finish this half, though. The final uh, three minutes, 47 seconds left to go. Don't let them claw their way back in here. Ben Cricky to the free throw line for two to try to extend this 16-point lead. As a proud sponsor of the Iowa Hawkeyes, U.S. Shetler wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Shetler built for us. At the game or at home, Wimmers premium quality hot dogs and sausages will score with family and friends. Take the highest quality beef and pork, combine it with natural spice, and you get the best tasting hot dog. Wimmers, the official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. 3.47 to go, first half, 34-18. Hawks by 16. Ben Cricky will be on the line, one for one so far. Five of six from the field, 11 points. Bobby talked about leading the way for the Hawkeyes so far. So valuable for your offense to get Ben Cricky involved early because he gives you a little bit of that mid-range but also got some paint scores from Ben. First free throw for Ben is up and right through. 35-18, largest lead of 17 now for the Hawks. Seton Hall, 4-1. and one. Hawkeyes, 3-2. and two. Second one right through as well. That's the... 36-18 advantage, 18 the largest lead. Pressure for the Hawks, trying to pass it over the top. Now all the way in, but left it short right side. Mediaco gets the rebound, he puts it up too far, along out the back side, but Davis right there, right time, right place, puts it up and in. And it's 36-20, Hawks back by 16. He's the only one bothering the, the Hawkeyes there, Dre Davis with eight points, including four free throws. Left side is Perkins. Inside, Cricky. Steps back, takes the jumper. No good, just off the side of the backboard and the glass. And a reach-in foul called on going for a rebound. Peyton Sanford made some contact that he didn't think was the foul. And we go back the other way now. The 18 foul for the Hawks. So one in the bonus shooting for Seton Hall. 16 fouls for the Pirates. 3.07 to go first half. Hawks lead. 36 to 20. Alamir Dawes, the 6'2 senior from Newark, New Jersey, on the line. He is one for five from the field, three points so far. And the first one up and right down the hatch. As Dawes coming in a 75% free throw shooter, just three of four in the first five games for Seton Hall. He knocks down the second one, so he completes a pair of free throws there. It's 36-22. Bowen has it up top. Just under three minutes to play first half. McCaffrey now drives. Sees an opening all the way in. Puts it up. Bounds around. No good. Off the mark left side. Rebounded by Seton Hall. Dawes up ahead to Davis. Davis, right elbow. Swings it left corner for the three. Good. As Isaiah Coleman knocks it down, he was ready for that one, the 6'5 freshman, and the lead has gone to 11, 36-25, two and a half to play. 
Cricky gives it to Perkins. Coach McCaffrey telling his team to keep moving offensively here. With 12 on the shot clock, Bowen all the way in. Little contact, got it to go, and one. How about that? Strong move, DeSante Bowen from left to right, got to the rim. Nobody comes over to stop him. DeSante, been in the weight room, took the hit up top, and got those broad shoulders, and foul called. DeSante for the end one. First trip to the free throw line, second basket of the night for DeSante. So he tries a complete third three-point play. Hawkeyes offensively in this game. Old-fashioned three-point play. Bowen got it to go. 39-25, the lead back to 14 with 2.15 to go in the first half. Pressure again by Patrick out front. Slowed him up with that 1-2-2 two, two after the made free throw. Hawks drop back into his zone. Dawes picked up by Perkins out front. Now left side, Bowen has him. Alamir Dawes, right side to Adey Wusu. Inside to Davis, spin around, move towards the lane. Puts it up, no good, but a backside rebound by Betty Akko. That's off the window and good for the left side. 39-27, 1.45 to go. McCaffrey to Perkins. Tony surveying. Sanford now has it. Peyton back to Perkins, right wing. Sanford for a three, left wing, got it! Splash City, Peyton Sanford gives the Hawkeyes the 18-point lead, 45-27. Peyton Sanford's second three-point field goal in the first half. Credit Tony Perkins with the assist. With 1.20 to go in this first half. Hawks lead by 15. That was the errant score put up on the board. It's 42-27, but here's a steal, and the breakaway and the slammer by Patrick McCaffrey. The steal and Patrick was flying to the other side and two-hand dunked it for the 44-27 lead. Tony Perkins doing everything. He got the steal and now the assist with the throw out to Patrick for the dunk. Under a minute to play. Here's a left side three. That goes through as Dylan Ade Wusu, the senior from Bronx, New York, brings it back to a 14-point game. 44-30. Largest lead has been 18 in this first half for the Hawks. 30 seconds to go. About an eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Bowen has it up top. He dribbles right side. Right-handed hip-high dribble between the legs. Right wing. 10 on the shot clock. Peyton Sanford for another three. No good. Pops out the left side. Rebounded. Tracked down by Coleman. 10 on the game clock. Hawks lead by 14. Up top with it is Dawes. Three to go. Up top, Ade Wusu with one on the game clock. Got it to go. A three-pointer from 30 feet. Threw it up and it went down. That's 11-point game at halftime. 44-33. You still have the double-digit lead. You still have the momentum, but you hate to give that up yeah. right before half. Yeah, unfortunate uh, <laughs> there for the Hawkeyes. I thought they weren't going to get a shot off. And <laughs> back-to-back threes by Ade Wusu to finish the half. As that brings us to halftime, 44-33. Hawks have the 11-point advantage. Stay tuned for a first-half recap in our Bud Light Halftime Show. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash fanofcorn. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Today is the day. After countless hours of research, cutting back expenses, and nine months of anxiously waiting for her, today is the day you finally bring home... 
your new car. It's also the day to protect her with an auto policy from Shelter Insurance. Our policies are competitively priced and include new car replacement coverage if anything were to happen to your new baby. To find an agent near you, visit shelterinsurance.com. We're your shield. We're your shelter. It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning, commitment, resilience, sweat. That's why Old Dominion Freight Line, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freight Line, official freight carrier of Iowa Athletics, helping the world keep promises. Draft Day Sports Lounge is the ultimate place to watch the game, have some fun, and show off your golfing skills with Top Golf Swing Suite. Top Golf Swing Suite in Draft Day delivers a one of a kind simulation that's fun for golfers and non golfers alike. Pair that with Draft Day's live sports viewing, local craft beers, and delicious menu, and you have a winning pair. Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge and Top Golf Swing Suite, just minutes south of Iowa City. With the Hawkeyes, every pass, shot, layup, and score is more than just part of the game. It's a testament to the teamwork, elbow greets, and can-do attitude it takes to win. In the same way, Case IH knows every successful farm is more than just a farm. It's the product of top-notch tillage, planting, harvesting, hay, and forage equipment at the hands of hardworking growers. Get a slam dunk by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Hawkeyes to learn more. Go Hawks! When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Oh, coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. This has been the well-marked Blue Cross and Blue Shield first half on the Hawkeye Sports Network. This is the Bud Light Halftime Show. Bud Light, easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Much better first half this afternoon. The consolation games, the Hawkeyes taking on Seton Hall, 44-33. We're at halftime. A lot of good things so far that we've seen, but have to keep them up. As you uh, talked about, that reminder of this team came back on USC and punched them to the brink yesterday. Hawkeyes got to stay aggressive. You have to stay aggressive, but a great start. you, you got to credit them with being ready. We credit the coaches with getting these kids ready, getting their attitude, staying positive with them. The best first 
first half shooting of the season for the Hawkeyes, and that's 60%. 18 of 30 came right out from the get-go. Tony Perkins, the end-to-end, coast-to-coast dunk, and then a Peyton Sanford three really got him off the mark. Great first half for Ben Crickey to lead the Hawks with 13. Indeed, as the Hawkeyes lead, 44-33. Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa Men's Basketball to serve charities in eastern Iowa. Learn more at iowaswarm.com. The Bud Light Halftime Show will continue on. Proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. We'll take a look at the halftime stats presented by High V. Coming up next, this is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. Royal Flooring has everything for your home from the floors up. Did you know we also feature appliances, custom cabinetry to update your kitchens, bathrooms, and more? Yep. We're more than just flooring. Shop Royal Flooring today. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season, like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Oh, oh, coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. (laughs) While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Let's be honest. We all like to be noticed. Picture yourself striding into Kinnick Stadium, radiating both style and comfort, while fellow Hawkeye fans can't help but ask, where'd you get that shirt? With pride, you point to the big screen and reply, it's Authentic Brand. Discover the remarkable difference that apparel with the Authentic Brand label brings. Ask for it by name at your favorite boutique, spirit shop, or retailer. Or shop online at Authentic-Brand.com. It's time for a change in your style. It's time for Authentic Brand. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon. When you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments, your bacon called, it's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loans subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Iowa. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. Hawkeyes lead 44-33. Back on the... Halftime show brought to you by Bud Light. John Swisher back inside Lion Tree Arena here in La Jolla, California. Just 14 miles from San Diego in this inaugural Reedy Children's Hospital Invitational. Hawkeyes with the 11-point lead over Seton Hall in the fourth ever meeting. First back in 1982. Time for the uh, Bud Light Halftime Show to continue. Bud Light, proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. Now it's time for our High V Halftime Stats Report. Brought to you by High V Square Big Savings with the all-new, totally free High V Perks membership. Take a look at the leading scorer for the Hawkeyes, Ben Cricky, Cricky leading the way with 13. Eight points for Tony Perkins and Peyton Sanford. Two for Patrick McCaffrey. DeSante Bowen has three. Josh Dix with four. Six for Owen Freeman. Four Seton Hall. Eight points for Dre Davis. Six of points for Jaden Bediaco and Dylan Adewasu. Five points for Alamir Dawes. Six points for Isaiah Coleman and Jaquan Sanders has two. Shooting for Seton Hall, 11 of 40 for 27% from the floor. Three-point percentage, four of 11 for 36%. Free throws, 87.5% for seven of eight for uh, Seton Hall. For the Hawkeyes, 18 of 30 for 60% from the field. 60%, what a difference from yesterday. 
in that game against Oklahoma. Three-point percentage, three of nine for 33% for the Hawkeyes. Points from turnovers, five to two, Seton Hall. Hawkeyes have 22 to Seton Hall's 14 in the paint. Second chance points, nine to two in favor of Seton Hall. Fast break favors Iowa six to three and bench points 10 to eight in favor of the Hawkeyes. Time for the charity stripe recap. As we look at how the Hawks did from the line in the first half, Hawkeyes were five of five for 100%. Seton Hall was seven of eight for 88%. That was your charity stripe recap brought to you by Latham High Tech Seeds. The Hawkeyes have a diverse combination of talent, and at Latham High Tech Seeds, you'll find the most diverse portfolio in the industry. Diversify for success at LathamSeeds.com. Hawkeyes lead 44-33 at halftime. We're back after this from Learfield. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you the tried trip, to pick why up wouldn't they? It's been nice and warm and comfortable oh, here for this eight-team bracketed okay event. To tonight, in the Iowa and Good Purdue, squirrel. Fort Wayne, Good the squirrel. winner moves yeah. on to the semifinal well, we round where they will face Florida Gulf Coast tomorrow. We can help you think smartly at USBank.com slash smarter together. Member of the IC. And in the case of Iowa, the rematch possibility with Kansas State that looms in the final is certainly exciting for Hawkeye fans. But, but you got to get there first. And tonight that journey starts with Purdue Fort Wayne. I think everybody in black and gold really appreciative of the effort that the Hawkeyes gave coming off of that just to enjoy with a huge easy. bounce back win against Drake. Don't Bud Light. Easy to drink. Of course. Easy you to know, enjoy. Uh, not Order only did the Hawkeyes today. lose to Kansas State, enjoy but they just, and a burst, they just could not Saint get Louis, in the groove. And just See, really from weren't the team that, that the fans have come to love. That like game versus Drake not only was a bounce back, but was just sort of vintage classic Hawkeye basketball where we saw the team passing, shooting, scoring. I'd like to see a little amazing. bit better Go defense back to, school to give up 90 points fast is still a lot. From extreme, but get all in from all, it was that to sort of exciting Hawkeye basketball that fans love to see, that the players love to engage in. And I think that is a, sets a great tone coming into when this tournament. To your health, take me inside the locker room and what Coach Blair might be right saying to her team, knowing the right that the big matchups right against a Florida Gulf Coast and then either a Kansas State or North Carolina are looming as the tournament goes along. What's the message coming in playing a team like Purdue? So you can get the best one care. game With at a time. Research, Undoubtedly, trials, she is telling them we focus tonight the state, here the on this game, get the win. Medicine, and, and I think also lives. to remember, you know, they are they, they're about to play three games in a row, late games. You know, it's a taxing, so Back play your in, hardest, 44, rest, rest during the day, almost come ready in, but undoubtedly she is preaching one game the US at a time. We'll hear from Coach Bluter with more in a moment, but for now we remind you that Molly's Cupcakes is probably serving their cookies and treats inside Kinnick Stadium and Carver Hawkeye Arena. For a taste of unique flavors you'll love, stop by their downtown Iowa City location for homemade cupcakes, cookies, cakes, bars, and coffee drinks. Molly's Cupcakes is a proud supporter of the Iowa Hawkeyes. We mentioned football, travel Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited, Iowa's official bowl is tour, is proud to announce the Iowa Hawkeyes are officially bowl eligible. Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited is Iowa's leaders for game tickets, air travel, and hotels. Sign up to automatically receive official bowl travel information at HawkeyeSports.com slash Bowl Central. When we continue getting you set for the Hawkeyes in Purdue Fort Wayne, it'll be time for a conversation with head coach Lucy Blue. It's after this. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Lear in Altoona. To Italy and Sicily in September 2024 with Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited. Enjoy this melting pot of multicultural customs and cuisine and beautiful landscapes. After taking in Rome, we'll head down to the dramatic Sorrento coast and then journey from Italy's heel to its toe of Sicily. To learn more about this or any vacation, contact Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited at duagency.com. That's duagency.com. Go Hawks. If you or someone you know is when having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 but provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. The game goes into overtime. 
You'll be quickly connected to train crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns. The choice to enjoy is easy. Connect you to additional resources. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Call or text. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Running a business is a lot of work. Be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area. Using business essentials is a huge help to us. Community choice credit union and Royal Floor. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, our law firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to Car Law. That's what U.S. Bank is for. For a free consultation, that's U.S. Car Bank. With two we'll get there R's. together. Equal Law. housing lender member Iowa. FDIC. Com. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. Second half, 44-33. Hawkeyes, Bowdy Hanson so caught up with corn Iowa assistant ethnic. coach Courtney Homegrown Eldridge. Coach, great Eldridge. job getting this team corn ready on a quick turnaround. What would you like there in the first half? Uh, I like the, our corn energy, the way we started the game. Products. I thought that was important. We get to get comfortable here. You know, this is a team that, like yesterday, they want to get into space. Uh, Show they really pride the themselves on defense, and I thought we did a really good job sharing the ball, had some good spacing. We got off to a really great start. That was important for us. And as we saw yesterday, uh, Seton Hall put the press on and came back. That could hurt you a little bit. Zero, there in the Florida, second half, that your message to the team. Oh, absolutely. Guys, you know, the they put on the identity of their coach. You know, Shaheen Holloway was a fiery player when he played. He was a really great player. He's going to demand that from his team. Coming off of the defeat against Kansas State, really big bounce back in the front last home game against Drake. They have to make it happy to see the team come out and play so well coming off the first loss of the year. Yeah, it really did. You know, I'm expecting that team to bounce back. Just six coaches in the first half. They uh, it doesn't McCaffrey surprise me, you know, we've and one, played five games this play. year, one has not been very good, but the other four have been very good. What impressed you most about the first half, half scoring 64? Yeah, well, good just the way that we moved right the ball, the hard the high drive assist, low turnovers, I love that. I love the people that got involved inside the, in the scoring as well. Minutes to play. When we continue, we'll continue our conversation. Got it to go off the back of the iron and down. And the 10-point game now, 47-30. Seven, the largest lead in that first half was 18 for the Hawks. Back-to-back -back baskets now to start the second half for Kadari Richmond, who has held scoreless, their leading scorer. Held scoreless, their leading scorer. Back up top, Sanford for a three, got it to go. Peyton Sanford. Women's basketball programs to serve charities in eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa Athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Interview with, Hi, I'm uh, Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally Clare, comfortable during these cold City. Iowa winters yeah, and hot the, humid the summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox, Lennox and your John local John Lennox Dealers Home Comfort Specialist. Uh, Lennox has okay. been serving Basketball. Iowa consumers since 1895. So, when Dave picks up the foul, his first. first, thank you, inside, no good off, oh, off the back of the iron, I should say, that goes on back down, looked like it was going to pop out, but Bediaco. Gets it. Here's Sanford for another three. Got it to go again. Peyton Sanford from long distance again. Three ball, number four, 53-39. Keep firing Peyton. Yeah, he has got that uh, fire going right now. He wants to make up for what he did yesterday. Right side, baseline jumper. No good left short by Richmond. Rebounded by McCaffrey. Hawks by 14, 17. And a half to go. Right side, Sanford. Now they're really guarding him as Davis is all over him. McCaffrey, left side of the lane, 15 seconds, puts it up. No good. Little contact, nothing doing. But now Bowen commits contact on the man who got the rebound, Kadari Richmond. And that's Pushing a second foul on DeSante Bowen. Pushing foul called there on DeSante. And Seton Hall will come back with it. 17.42 to go in the second half. 53-39. The lead for the Hawkeyes. Trying to get their fourth win of the season at 3-2. Seton Hall is 4-1 after that loss to USC yesterday. Oklahoma beat USC 72-70 today in the championship. There's a three by Dawes. Top of the key. Stopped and popped. And it goes right through. 53-42 now. Perkins, hesitation, now drives all the way in. Put it up in traffic, no good. Rebounded off the front side by Bediaco. Seton Hall now with Richmond left side. 11-point Hawkeye advantage. Sanford bodying up Richmond. Now inside, little one-hand. 
shoulder from seven feet out. Left side of the lane. Got it. 53-44. He can Single score, digits. He can score in bunches. That's uh, three straight baskets for Kadaria Richmond. Average is 15, and he had nothing, so he's looking to come. Sanford, heat check. No good off the front of the rim. Here is Seton Hall coming back with it. As Coleman with the rebound. This is Dawes. Right side. Three, Davis, that's no good. Off the back of the rim. Coleman skies for the rebound. Fresh shot clock. Here is a three. Deep city by Dawes. And Coach McCaffrey wants the timeout. It's a six-point game. 53-47. That was near NBA range that time by Al Amir Dawes. The 6-2 sophomore, his third three of the game. He's three for seven with 11 points. Yeah, and uh, that scored in bunches right there to start the second half. That is a 14-9 start for Seton Hall. 8-0 run over the one minute. 53-47, 16-29 to go in the first half of play. Join the Iowa Lottery VIP Club and enter to win game day tickets to see Iowa men's basketball with the countdown to Carver promotion. Play Hawkeye Gold Scratch tickets today. And, hey, fans, here's a lineup that's ready to throw it down. Honda, HRV, CRV, Passport, and Pilot are ready to pounce. See your Central Midwest Honda dealer. There's a great dealers like Billion Honda in Iowa City. Say hi to Frank Giuliano, Levi Walker, and Tyler Walker, 53-47, 16-29 to go here in the second half. Now you see Seton Hall has just picked it up a tad here. Shots are falling for him. Hawkeye's got to find an answer. Yeah, it started with their leading scorer, Kadari Richmond. He got going there. He's got uh, a couple of baskets, three baskets to, uh, to start the second half. He's got six, and then uh, the other backcourt man, Alamir Daz, a senior. These guys aren't going away. Um, 11 points uh, for Daz, three three-pointers, so got to have a good offensive uh, possession on this one. I would go inside, try to find Ben Cricky, see what kind of defense that he will draw inside, draw and kick. And you got Peyton Sanford on fire. Happy holiday week, he. Wherever you're listening to us from, John Swisher, Bobby Hanson, courtside in La Jolla, California. Here on the campus of UC San Diego, 14 miles from San Diego in Lion Tree Arena, home of the Tritons, the fourth ever meeting for the Hawkeyes and Seton Hall. The Hawks with the 44-33 lead at halftime. It's 53-47 now with 16-29 to go in the second half. We got our updated stats, and they're getting closer in that uh, in the paint category that the Hawkeyes dominated in the first half. It's now 24-22 Hawks. Yeah, they're going to crash the boards. Uh, second chance points, offensive rebounds. That's 12 offensive rebounds for Seton Hall to just two for the Hawkeyes, but they have 12 to two in, in the uh, second chance points. Also, second half shooting for Seton Hall on fire. Six out of eight, 75 percent. The Hawks are, are two, three out of six. Peyton Sanford, the couple of three-point field goals. So good timeout by Coach McCaffrey to slow his team down, slow the momentum of this game. There'll be another timeout under 16 minutes here at the 16:29 mark. So uh, the Hawkeyes will have the basketball, and again, got to have a good offensive possession here. Hawks lead by six, 53-47. The exciting moments, the proud moments, even the hard moments. Walmart, Blue Cross, and Blue Shield is here for it all as your health care champion. Making health care more affordable with more choices for care and peace of mind no matter what comes your way. Find the plan right for you at walmart.com slash hoops. Hawkeyes trying to get the momentum back here with the basketball going the length of the floor. On the floor for the Hawks, Owen Freeman. Tony Perkins, Peyton Sanford, Ben Cricky, and Patrick McCaffrey. And coming out of the timeout, you're going to get some three-quarter court pressure. A little man-to-man pressure, yeah, they looks like. Back up a little bit. Yeah. Coleman is uh, near Perkins. As here comes Tony bringing it up. A little over 16 to go in the second half. Hawks lead by six. Tony hand off on the left wing to Sanford. Gets it back. Perkins looking. High skip pass. Patrick, thank goodness. He's able to get up in the air and sky that one. That would have run, went in the third row behind us. McCaffrey driving the lane. Tried to hand it off. Gets knocked away and stolen away as Coleman comes away with it. He slows it up right side. Back up top to Richmond. Richmond drives all the way. Left hand. It's tipped away, but they call goaltending. 
Owen Freeman got yeah. called for his hand in the cookie jar there, right in front of the rim. Coach, McCa- call. Yeah, Coach McCaffrey can't believe it. They're going to look at it. They're going to replay it here. 15.58 to go. We'll take a timeout first and come back. 53-49 Hawks as this is Hawkeye Basketball. Presented by Wellmark Blue Cross, Blue Shield from Learfield. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation? Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau, but depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau, the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the better check that business out first so you don't get ripped off bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. Find a better business anytime at BBB.org. Treat yourself to one of our award-winning entrees at the Machine Shed. Come get your hands around one of our famous pork tenderloins, our most popular sandwich. Served either deep-fried golden brown or unbreaded and grilled. Or try our roasted, stuffed Iowa chop that is stuffed with a warm apple raisin dressing and glazed with an apple whiskey sauce. Trust me, you won't regret it. This is Jeff Brender, and we can't wait to have you over for dinner at the Machine Shed. I-80 in Hickman Road, Urbandale, and I-80 in Northwest Boulevard, Davenport. Royal Flooring has everything for your home from the floors up. Did you know we also feature appliances, custom cabinetry to update your kitchens, bathrooms, and more? Yep, we're more than just flooring. Shop Royal Flooring today. Back here to the Rady Children's Invitational Hawkeyes and Seton Hall. Hawks up right now, 53-49, taking a look at the replay really close. Far side official called it right in front of the basket. We have replay right next to us, so we're seeing the same monitor that the officials are, Bobby. It's close. It's really close. It looked like a good block, though, from what they're looking at, and I don't know what they do. Go to a jump ball at this point. Now the three officials backing away from the monitors, conferring and talking about what they uh, are looking at, what they saw here. All plays under review are brought to you by Athletico. Physical therapy is the thing you were told to do after medication, x-rays, or surgery. But what if the best way to fix your pain is to start where you normally finish? Assuming you start with physical therapy, you change everything. It all starts with no prescriptions needed at Athletico. So, replace stands that uh, they will count from the basket. Goaltending is called. It's a four-point game. Okay, the basket will be a sport. Uh, who was it? It's called the Richmond. Did he get the basket? Yeah, yeah Richmond. Was it Richmond? They haven't put it up yet. 1558 down. Coleman got it. I see that Coleman, okay. So, all right. Four of the last five kills will be made. All right, guys. Trying to find an answer here. There's that four point pressure we're going to put on you. 15 15 to go. Check back it out. 53 49. A four point advantage. It led by as much as 18. And yeah, that first half. half. 11 and a half time. Good job, guys. guys. Got a little bit of pressure here. No, no troubles. troubles. Have another half hour to set. set. Her bird comes up top. Look right, right side. side. Kick, 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 kick. One and a half. Half 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 half
incidental contact here. Freeman going for the ball and knocking down Coleman on the foul. Tough break there for Owen Freeman. There's the ball bounced long and nobody blocked out the, the shooter. Baseline inbounds underneath. Richmond will get it in. It's lost. And on the floor, scrum for it. Freeman and Davis on the floor. And the jump ball will go to the Hawkeyes. 57-51, 14-34 to go in the second half. Perkins, Freeman, McCaffrey, Peyton Sanford, Ben Cricky, the five for the Hawkeyes. Perkins, guarded by Coleman. Left side, it's tipped away and stolen away by Davis. Off and running, Davis all the way in. That's a tie ball. No, they call the foul. Looked like he got his hand on the basketball. It was either Cricky or, yeah, Cricky, I believe. That's what he was thinking as well. But the uh, baseline official said it looked like part of the arm or body from his angle. And Davis going to go to the line for uh, two free throws. He's four for four in the first half. Dre Davis, eight points, but tough break there for the Hawkeyes. Tony tried to get the ball up to the high post. The ball was tipped and stolen away. First free throw is up and through. 57-52, the five-point game. They give the foul to Cricky for his second. And the second one for Davis right through. Four-point game, 57-53. Here comes Tony over the timeline. Guarded by Isaiah Coleman. Perkins looking. Left side of Freeman. Gets it back. Tony now sends it up to Cricky. Cricky drives from the left side. Low contact. Ball gets knocked away. Freeman has it. Half. Gets knocked away. Contact again. Nothing called. Coming up with it on the baseline is Betty Ako. And Seton Hall has it the other way. Up top, left-handed hit by Dribble. Sends the left side of Richmond. There's a travel. Shuffled his feet before he took, put it on the floor as Cricky was right in front of him. And the traveling violation, we go back the other way. 13.48 to go. 57-53. Hawks by four. Need a good one here. Perkins will bring it up over the half-court strike. Right side of Cricky. Ben. Now McCaffrey. Patrick. Back to Cricky. Left elbow. 15 on the shot clock. Patrick now left-handed dribble. Hand off to Perkins. Right to left. Top of the key is Tony. Tony bounce pass. Little pull-up jumper. 15-footer. Book it. Peyton Sanford got it to go, 59-53. Peyton now 18 points with good offensive possession that time by the Hawkeyes. Took their time, weren't in a hurry, took a good shot, 15-footer from Peyton. Good offensive patience indeed. Hawks lead by six, 13 minutes to go. Hawks sit in the zone. Coleman has it left side, back up top. Now back to Coleman after Dawes touched it. Here's Dawes for a three, left wing, no good off the backside. Sanford corrals it. Here comes Peyton. He's pressured by Coleman. Has it knocked away from behind. Peyton gets it back. Three bodies on the floor. Perkins gets it all the way in. Off the glass and good. Ben Cricky came up with it. Sitting down, he gets it to Tony. And Tony saw the lane to the hoop as nobody was there. Laid it up and in. Hawks back up. Here's a three. No good. Too hard off the back of the rim by Dawes. Okay. This one's poked up in the air. Tony Perkins. As he almost flies into the table in front of us. Here's a three left side. That's no good by Peyton Sanford. Rebound by Seton Hall. Mm. Wow, he's all over the place. of activity Thought there. they're going to be in our lap. <laughs> <laughs> almost was. 61-53. 12 minutes to go here in the second half. Right side. Here's a three. Dawes again. No good. Front side rebound. Bediaco comes up with it. Now he's going to be hit on the arm. Cricky will pick up his third personal foul. Bediaco to the line to shoot two. Yeah, it's unfortunate. The three-pointer against the 2-3 zone. Open in the corner right there. The Hawks fly at him. Ball bounced right back to him. Hawks could gather it up. Bediaco to the line for two. A couple substitutions will come in after the first free throw. Josh Dix. Lodge. Third foul on Ben. Bali. Getting ready to check in. Free throw up and spins around, pops out, no good. Left side. 
Number 13, Lonnie Dembele. Dembele in, Cricky out, McCaffrey out. I mentioned Dix is also in there. Joined Perkins, Peyton Sanford, and Owen Freeman. Second one is up and good. 61-54, the seven-point lead. 12 minutes to go in the second half. Dix has it. Guarded closely by Ade Wusu. Dribbling left side, looking for help. Frame in short corners. Nice spin around move towards the baseline. Underneath the hoop, double team, kicks it out. Dembele, no good. Off the mark, front side rebound by Betty Ako. Left side, here's a three. Coleman, no good, left short. Dix skies for the rebound. Pushing it ahead, Sanford looking, gives it up to Tony. Perkins drives, foul. that's gonna be a foul. Yep, Isaiah Coleman, too much contact going for the ball. Perkins lands on the ground, and immediate timeout, 11.29 to go. 61-54, Hawkeyes by seven. This is Hawkeye basketball, presented by Wellmark, Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at High V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the High V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just the price today or this week, it's the Perks price every day. With the High V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for High V Perks. It's free and easy. Some restrictions apply. Right now, you are not in the crowd at Carver Hawkeye Arena, but you could be. You're not cheering the Hawkeye steal, fast break, and slam dunk, but you could be. Play the Hawkeye Gold Scratch Ticket, and you could win a VIP game day experience to see the Iowa men's basketball team. The Countdown to Carver promotion from the Iowa Lottery lets you be a part of the action. To enter your ticket and see details, visit ialottery.com slash VIP. After I drop the kids off, I have to run across town for a meeting, hit the gym during lunch, Jake has soccer tonight, and Emily has gymnastics? Oh, did I turn on the crock pot this morning? <laughs> With a never-ending to-do list, it's easy to forget something important, like setting up a life insurance plan with Shelter Insurance. Your local shelter agent can show you how to create a safety net for your family. Don't let life get in the way of what's most important. Visit shelterinsurance.com to learn more. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. 61-54, Hawkeyes lead by 7, 11-29 to go in this ball game. They answered a little flurry there by Seton Hall, hitting some shots early on, getting close. So Hawkeyes led by 11 as much as 18 in the first half. Good answer there to try to cut down that Seton Hall momentum and back to a seven-point lead. Yeah, it was. There was a 10-0 run by Seton Hall, and then we went to the under-16 timeout, and Ben Crookie back into the game. And he got a basket, and then it was back and forth. Peyton uh, Sanford hit a couple of them in there. Now the Hawkeyes have a seven-point lead here at uh, almost the midway point of the uh, second half, and uh, just got to keep playing with that same intensity, John. I've been impressed with the way the Hawkeyes have been getting after it on the defensive end and hustling, just going after every loose ball. What we saw right in front of us, down on the floor, Tony Perkins flying over the scorer's table here, getting the ball. That's what it takes to uh, to win a bounce-back game like this. That different energy they've had this yeah. whole game, as we talked about, plus the Big thing, knocking down more shots today. Yeah, doing a nice job shooting almost 60% for the game. Looking at the numbers here, 59 and a half. The Hawks, 50, 25 of 42, almost 40% from three, 6 of 13. Perfect from the free throw line. Uh, just keep uh, even rebounding and keep that big fella, uh, Betty Ako, off the offensive glass. He's got 11 total rebounds, seven of them on the offensive board. Got to put a body on him, get him out of there early. Hawkeye fans, nothing goes better with Hawkeye sports than Wimmer's Meats. Wimmer's Hot Dogs and Sausages deliver the home game experience to your family and friends. Winners, official hot dog of the Hawkeyes. 61-54 Hawks, 11-29 to go here in the second half of play. For the Hawks, it's still Perkins, Freeman, Dix, Dembele, and Peyton Sanford. Hand off Freeman to Perkins. Pulls up a little jumper from 11 feet out. No good. Off the backside. Rebounded by Seton Hall. Here come the Pirates. Right side with it is Dawes. Now Richmond swings it left side to Ade Wusu. Inside free throw lane. Davis drives. Freeman on him. Up and good. 
Straight up and down was Freeman. What an effort by Dre Davis. Yeah, he's a player, a senior. Uh, he averages 13. He's got 12 in the game. At 13 against the Hawkeyes last year as a junior in that Hawks 16-point win at Seton Hall. There's a three, no good by Sanford right wing. Rebounded by Davis over the timeline. Richmond back to Davis. Here's Dawes guarded by Sanford. Now Richmond puts it on the floor. Inside wide open, Bediaco. Dembele gets in there and pokes it away. It'll be Seton Hall basketball. Baseline inbounds underneath with 13 on the shot clock. Nice job by the freshman Dembele to rotate down and knock that ball loose. So that would have been an easy dunk for Bediaco. 10.31 to go here in the second half. Hawks lead by 5, 61-56. Richmond gets it in up top to Davis. Now Ade Wusu. Here's Dawes for a three. Spins around, pops out, Perkins the rebound. Tony pushes it. Doesn't have numbers. It's knocked away. Low contact. The Bailey comes up with it. Look what I found. Up and in with the left hand on the left side. Hawks lead 63-56. L- right place, right time for Lodge. He ran to the rim, posted his guy up. Tony's ball the ball was knocked away from Tony, but it was right to Lodge Dembele. And he had a little man on him and left hand layup. Here's Davis now. Right side, throws it out of there as it gets knocked away and now throw down the court, picked off by Day Wusu. Here's Dawes driving, puts it up high floater off the glass, that's no good off the back side, rebounded by Dix, gets it to Sanford. Dix, left side to Perkins, Tony drives, kicks it out, Dembele, now Dix drives to the top of the key, all the way left side, gets it back to Dembele for a three, no good off push. the back side, that's a push off, called on a Seton Hall player, on the left block as he pushed Sanford totally out of there. I think a day Wusu, yep, Dylan a day Wusu, the 6'4 senior from New York, be called for the foul. The Hawkeye basketball on the baseline there with a give him 30 second shot clock. New face, foul. yep, new face in there. Brock Harding will enter the ball. Dix, yeah, should be 20. Dim, yep, the Bailey. Freeman and Sanford still in there. Harding getting ready to inbound. 20 on the shot clock. 10.01 to go here in the game. Harding looking. Finds Dix. Left corner. He'll dribble it out. Left wing. Bounce pass to Freeman. Left short corner. Backing down his defender, Bediaco. Now Davis comes and just knocks the ball away and comes up with it. Davis ahead to Coleman. All the way in off the glass and good pass Dix. 63-58, five-point lead, just under 10 to play, second half. Yeah, a turnover. Points off turnovers right there. They, they turned it around quick. Owen Freeman did not see the defender come up from the baseline side. Dix has it, swings it left side, between the legs, dribble, right-handed hip high dribble, gives it up to Freeman, does Harding. Here is a right corner, three, got it to go! Josh Dix, a three-pointer from deep right corner. Hawks back by eight. Got to credit Owen Freeman, though, with the assist from the left-hand elbow there, 15 feet away, found Dix wide open in the right corner for a huge basket there for the Hawkeyes. 66-58, nine to play in the game. Hawks trying to hang on for their fourth win. Left side, Ade Wusu for a three. Count me. That was deep, and he puts his team within five, 66 61. That's three three point field goals made for Ade Wusu first in the second half. Right side, Dix gives it up. Right wing, Harding. Brock. Sends it left side to Sanford's knocked out of bounds by Isaiah Coleman. Ben Cricky will come back in. Owen Freeman will head to the bench. 8.36 to go. 12 on the shot clock. Hawkeyes have it right in front of us. And Bailey will take it out of bounds. Cricky, nope, Sanford will now. Cricky, Dix, and Harding also in there for the Hawkeyes. Got three shooters in there. Dix, Harding, and Peyton Sanford. Ben Cricky. Cricky going up, but Davis able to knock it off the alley oop, off the inbounds try as Davis got in front of Cricky and just reached up and took it away. Here's a pass knocked out of bounds by the hustling Hawkeyes. Harding gets his fingertips on it and will stay Seton Hall basketball going right to left. Down by five. Hawks lead 66 61, eight and a half to go. Hawks still in that 2 3 zone. 
most of the second half here. Coleman back up to Richford. Harney goes for the steal. Richmond goes in, puts it up. One-handed floor, no good. Peyton Sanford battles for the rebound on the backside. Peyton brings it up the other way. All the way in. Bounce pass on the baseline. Dix avoids being out of bounds. Sends it back to Hardy. Now Dix gets it right wing. Left-handed, thigh-high dribble. Guarded by Ade Wusu. Up top to Cricky. Ben puts it on the deck. Now sends a pass left side to Harding. Harding back up to Dix. 7.50 and counting here in the second half. A little reach and a little contact. Two on the shot clock. Fadeaway jumper no good. Rebounded by Seton Hall. As Dix shot that one. Because he had to. Had to shoot it, yeah. Will reach in. Seton Hall got away with it, appeared from our angle anyway. Up top is Richmond. Harding. Guarding Richmond high up top, extended top of the key. Here's another deep, long three. No good this time. Short. Davis almost had it. Now Adewusu has it on the baseline. He's out of bounds. Throws it away. Hawkeye basketball. 66-61. 7.25 to go in the second half. Timeout on the floor. This is Hawkeye basketball. Presented by Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. Travel Leaders Destinations Unlimited. We provide experiential travel and vacation planning for Hawkeye fans across the state. Contact one of our destination experts to start planning your next trip at duagency.com. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called. It's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loan subject to credit approval and analysis. See Credit Union for details. Do you trust your insurance agent? Do you trust your insurance company? Well, you'd better. Because all they've really sold you is a promise. A promise to be there when things go bad. To step up and put everything back the way it was. So, if you don't trust your insurance company, maybe it's time to find one you do trust. West Bend. The worst brings out our best. Visit thesilverlining.com to find out more. Are your car payments baking you crazy? Bring home the bacon when you move your car loan to Community Choice and get up to three months of no car payments. Your bacon called? It's ready to go home. Bring home the bacon at unbankyourbacon.com. Loans subject to credit approval and analysis. See credit union for details. Hawks lead by 5, 66, 61, 725 to go in this ball game as they're... Uh, Keeping the tempo and staying ahead of Seton Hall right now. Hopefully uh, wearing down Seton Hall, and they're on their last gasp here, and the Hawkeyes can close this one out. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me uh, here. 7.25 to go, John, and uh, they, they made a valiant uh, a, a comeback here. They were down 11 with that crazy three-pointer to end the first half, but uh, the Hawkeyes have regrouped and hit some big shots. Josh Dix, the big three from the corner off the assist from uh, uh, Owen Freeman and Elijah Dembele has played good in here. Ben Cricky as well. So uh, the Hawks are, are, are well rested and Fran's going to keep Peyton Sanford on the bench here for a couple more minutes and get him back in there and uh, finish these guys off. We have listeners everywhere on this Black Friday. Hello to all our Hawkeye faithful listeners as happy uh, holidays. Happy Black Friday to you. Happy late Thanksgiving. Iowa Hawkeye football team with a great win earlier today on the Hawkeye Radio Network. It's Gary Dolphin, Eddie Polak, Robbie Brooks, Corey Sheets brought it to you here. Hello to Dolphin Company as they are back safe and sound home. Moving uh, away from the airport now. Hello to Dolphin, everybody, and what a great Hawkeye win. Ten wins for Coach Kirk Ferentz and uh, company, and uh, ten wins for the fifth time in Hawkeye football program history with that 13-10 win, a uh, field goal at the buzzer this afternoon for the Hawks. The walk-off. Yes. Three, just like the Northwestern game over at Wrigley. And a W is a W. You take it how you can. That's football, as Coach Ferentz would <laughs> yeah. say. But hello to Gary Dolphin out there uh, driving home to Dubuque. Get home safe. Watch out for those deer. Yes, and Didi, 66-61, 7.20 to go 
show here in the game. Nice pass inside from Harding from top of the key. Cricky didn't have anything pass it out. Sanford gets it to go. Patrick, Patrick. McCaffrey, I should say, Patrick. from the left corner. Patrick gets one to rattle in, and it plopped on down. Patrick saying, finally, I get a three to go. Yeah, it tried to pop out there, but it stayed in there, and everybody gives it the high five as they run back, play D. Left side, thought about a three. Now up top with it. Left side is Dawes. He shoots a three over Dix. No good. Off the front of the rim. Rebound of the Harding. Hawks lead by eight. 69-61. Harding, McCaffrey, Dembele, Dix, and Cricky. The five for the Hawks. Dembele sends it right side. Right in front of us. Harding dribbles to the top of the key. Gives it up to Patrick. 12 on the shot clock. Six and a half to go in the game. Right side, Cricky. Drives all the way in, puts it up, and is fouled. Another three-point play. He's had several in the last two days, and a chance for another old-fashioned three-point play. Great aggressive move. Shot clock winding down from inside the right wing. He was taking no for an answer. Yeah, that's a design play from the, right in front of us here. Coach McCaffrey called that play here, and they bring Ben Cricky out to set a screen. He rolls, catches the basketball, and Betty Ako couldn't catch up, the big fella. And Ben, he is so strong with that left hand moving from right to left and gets the end one opportunity. 622 to go. As Ben Cricky, three for three for the line so far. He's got 17 points with that last field goal, wiping up some perspiration now on that far side near the basket. Now Cricky ready to shoot the free throw. Free throws up and no good. Too strong at the back of the rim. Hawks lead by 10. Back to double digits for the first time in a little while. They led by 11 at halftime, as much as 18 in that first half. 71-61, just over six minutes to play. All the way in, left hand on the right side, no good. Davis gets the rebound on the missed attempt by Richmond, and Dre Davis adds to his point total. He's got 14, and the Hawks lead 71-68. Just couldn't get a body on Dre Davis, and he is so strong in traffic, getting the offensive rebound and put back. Dix has it right side now, flips it up top to Cricky. One-handed pass to Harding. Harding back up top to Dix. Under 10 on the shot clock. Harding surveying from deep left wing. Five on the shot clock. Left side, Harding. Pull up jumper. Baseline, no good off the backside. Rebounded by Richmond. And Seton Hall will come back with it. Over the timeline is Kadari Richmond, their leading scorer coming in. He's only got eight points here this afternoon. Leading score of 15 points. Here's a jumper from 12 feet out inside the middle of the lane. Dre Davis has been their leading scorer. Give him two more. He's got 16. It's 71-65. Against the zone right there. Found that little open spot at the free throw line. Just turned and fired. And got 16. Right now, Cricky has it right wing. Hand off to Dix. Dix driving in. Kicks it out. Harding for a left corner three. No good off the front of the rim. Rebound by Ade Wusu. Six-point Hawk lead. Just under five minutes to play in this ball game. Another entertaining game like the first one was this afternoon as Oklahoma edged USC 72-70 to as they knocked off the 23rd-ranked Trojans. Here's Dix comes away with it. Ball is bad away. Patrick slammed down all the way in. And Patrick hopes that's the exclamation point. The Hawks back up by eight. Great defense able to knock the ball away. And now we have whistles, and Coach Holloway wants a timeout. In the zone, the 2-3 zone, active. Josh Dix gets the steal. The ball was poked away. Josh comes up with it, and he's so solid. Found Patrick streaking up the floor on the left side, and he was chased down by Dre Davis, but Patrick goes up, hammers it home with two hands, and Hawks hold on to an eight-point lead. 73-65, 4.33 to go in the ball game. A timeout on the floor as we'll take it with them. This is Hawkeye Basketball presented by Wellmark. Blue Cross Blue Shield from Learfield. When the game goes into overtime. But... The game goes into overtime. The choice to enjoy is easy. Bud Light. Easy to drink. Easy to enjoy. Order Bud Light online today. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. It takes hard work to be the best in the game. Planning. Commitment. Resilience. Sweat. 
That's why Old Dominion Freight Line, the number one national LTL carrier for quality, works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs. Old Dominion Freight Line, official freight carrier of Iowa Athletics, helping the world keep promises. Have you heard about this new type of television experience from Epson? It's called the Epic Vision Ultra Laser Projection TV. It combines a new type of laser projection technology along with a unique Epson Silverflex screen to produce an epic 120-inch 4K Pro UHD picture that's up to four times bigger than a traditional 60-inch TV. There's no better way to watch live sports, and watching Iowa basketball play live on this big, bright TV is simply awesome. If you're a sports fanatic like me, you need to check this new Epson TV out for yourself. Visit Epson.com TV to learn more. Three arena missed three by Richmond from the left corner. Hawkeyes get the rebound and lead with just under four minutes to play. Tony Perkins says we're slowing it down here, fellas. Good job. 73-65. Up top with it. Perkins left side. 12 on the shot clock. Cricky from the left elbow driving all the way in. Puts it up. Got it to go. A little contact let go. High off the window. Cricky aggressive again and able to finish. Hawks back by 10. 19 points now for Ben Cricky. He didn't finish with the left hand. He went up and under. Finished with the right hand. That strong left hand dribble though. That one may put him away. Doss left side to Adewusu. Ball's knocked away on the floor. Seton Hall has it. Wide open dunk. Two-handed jammed down there by Dre Davis. And the Pirates are back within eight. 75-67, three and a half to go. Just an unfortunate bounce of the ball at that time against the Hawkeyes and almost had their hands on it. Went to the floor. They've been hustling all afternoon long. Couldn't get their hands on it. It results in a dunk for Davis. Perkins has it. Buying some time here, taking care of the basketball. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Gets it back to Cricky. Now giving up to Patrick. McCaffrey looking left side. Now inside. Cricky in the baseline. Throws it. Perkins handles it. Throws up the three in the corner. No good. And they're going to call shot clock violation. It was right in front of the hoop. As the shot clock violation comes. And our final media timeout comes as well. With 2.56 to go, 75-67. Hawkeye fans, we're bringing you live game day coverage in the incredible style and comfort of Authentic Brand. Today we're sporting a couple of Authentic Brand gear, a pullover for Bobby, and the vest for me, very stylish as always. You can ask Authentic Brand by name for your at your local retailers or visit Authentic-Brand.com. For 24-7 shopping experience, Authentic Brand, proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. 2.56 to go, 75-67, Hawkeyes by 8. This is Hawkeye Basketball, presented by Walmart, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, from Learfield. Hi, I'm Gary Dolphin, and if you want your home to be exceptionally comfortable during these cold Iowa winters and hot, humid summers, you need to turn to Dave Lennox and your local Lennox Home Comfort Specialist. Lennox has been serving Iowa consumers since 1895, when Dave Lennox built his first furnace in Marshalltown, and Lennox is still building its high-efficiency furnaces and air conditioners there today for the best home comfort system you can buy. It's Lennox and your local Lennox dealer. Lennox and the Hawkeyes. Now there's a winning combination. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash iowa. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. Back in on the campus of UC San Diego in La Jolla, California. John Swisher, Bobby Hanson, 2.56 to go in this game. Hawks lead 75-68. Time for station identification as we pay homage to all of our stations across the Hawkeye Radio Network. You're listening to Hawkeye Men's Basketball.
Eight-point lead, just under three to play. Hawkeyes got to keep up with this intensity, play good defense, take care of the ball on the offensive side. Other than that, it's a simple game, right? Yeah, it is a simple game. you got to rebound, though. These final uh, three minutes, you got to get all the defensive boards over there. Keep these guys on your backside. They're going to be in a desperation mode here, down eight with three minutes to go. The Hawks will sit in that 2-3 zone. Great uh, minutes by Brock Harding, uh, Laje Dan Bailey. Those guys off the bench have done a really good job. Uh, the points are uh, off the bench 15 to 10 in favor of the Hawkeyes but uh, a lot of time to go here uh, you got to D them up rebound and then uh, keep running don't uh, don't slow the tempo down here when you have an opportunity to break but I go back to the beginning of this game Tony Perkins got him off to a great start on the U.S. Bank scoreboard, the Iowa women, fifth ranked in the country, leading Purdue Fort Wayne, 42-20 down in Estero, Florida, in the Gulf Coast Showcase. First of three games for Coach Bluter and company. They'll play the winner of Delaware and FGCU tomorrow to be determined, and they'll play one more game on Sunday. So best of luck to the Hawkeye women. Hawkeye men trying to get their fourth win here. Just under three to play, lead by eight. Seton Hall has it coming right to left. There's a handoff to Ida Wusu up top, guarded by Tony Perkins. It's Perkins, Sanford, McCaffrey, Cricky, and Dix the five for the Hawks. Left side, they swing it left corner for a three, got it to go. That's Al Lamir Dawes, the 6'2 senior. So he gets his 14th basket of the night. That's his fourth three ball. Yeah, they move the ball against the 2-3 zone from right to left all the way around in front of Seton Hall there. And uh, Dawes, the three, he's got 14, four three-point field goals in the game. Perkins was bringing it up. A little pressure by Seton Hall. Forgot to start the shot clock. We had a shot clock malfunction. Did not start. And they're going to have to take a look at it here. Uh, The replay and, again, all reviews. Brought to you by Athletico. Physical therapy is the thing you are told to do after medication, x-rays, or surgery. But what if the best way to fix your pain is to start where you normally finish? The sooner you start with physical therapy, you change everything. It all starts with no prescription needed at Athletico. So reviewing the shot clock and what it should be at here. So it did not start right away when it should have. 75-70. Hawks have the five-point lead. 2.32 to go in the game. Yeah, they're, they're going back there. They got to sink the shot clock and game clock. Uh, I'm not sure. I was making my notes down there. But the Hawks hold a five-point lead. And here come the Hawkeye fans from Southern Cal with the Let's Go Hawk. You can hear it in the radio. No doubt about it. Huge support here. Amount of black and gold heavily dominating the arena right now as it did yesterday before the USC fans got here. And they have taken over for the USC faithful after their first game today. It's black and gold everywhere you look around the arena. 75-70, the five-point lead. Throughout the Iowa Corn Cyhawk Series, Iowa Corn promotes values that are uniquely Iowan. On behalf of Iowa's corn farmers, we salute all athletes for their hard work and determination both on and off the field. Just like our athletes, our state leads the nation in corn and ethanol production. Follow Iowa Corn on Facebook to learn how corn grows Iowa. Again, the officials still looking at the replay. At the monitor's right next to us, so we're looking at the same thing they are. Clock never started. Neither of them. So they got the calculators out. They're going <laughs> to try to get this correct. It, it could, could loom large here, uh, John, as yes. uh, we go down here in a two-possession game. Indeed it could. Hawks by five, 2.32 to go. Now they think they got it figured out. And we're about ready to go, but what, did they, what are they going to put on it? Took off five. 227. The shot clock should be 25. There, yep, we there go. you go. 227. Shot clock at 25. Butch McCaffrey having a smile with the near side official. One of the rare fouls we'll have with officials in games sometimes. Always good to see that on the floor. Give it across, Josh. Josh Dix bringing it up. 2.20 and counting here in this ball game. Hawks by five. Dix has it. Up top, extended left wing, throws it to Cricky inside, gets rid of it to Perkins, goes up, and his head on the arm is Tony trying to go up. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Dre Davis called for the foul. 
Nice pass by Ben Cricky. He caught the, the ball in traffic. Two guys came to him. Tony cuts on the baseline. Ben gave him a no-look little shovel pass behind his back. Tony went up to shoot it and was fouled. He'll shoot two. Ben was off balance a little too, almost in fear of uh, traveling. Just got rid of it to Perkins on the baseline. Tony sinks the first one. Money. Two of two now on the afternoon for Tony. He'll have one more. Hawks lead 76-70, 2 to go. Second one right through. Up by seven, 77-70. Adewusu gets an inbound to Coleman. Now Dawes will bring it up. Hawks will stay 2-3 zone. Dawes the handoff to Adewusu. Coleman. Now Davis has it, left elbow, guarded by Cricky. Right side, Dix picks him up in the baseline drive. Kicks it back out, Adewusu drives in, right corner. Gets rid of it. Put up, no good by Richmond, rebounded by Cricky. And a foul coming there. Coach Holloway can't believe there is nothing called. He wanted contact. I didn't see too much from here. No. They called one on Richmond, though. As physical as it's been. Coach Holloway. Next one will be one and one for the Hawks. Now McCaffrey look to get inbounds. Hawkeyes still have timeouts to use. They have two left. So does Seton Hall. There's contact. You betcha. Tony Perkins right before the timeline gets bumped into by Coleman. And Seton Hall doesn't think there was enough contact there. Coach Holloway walking to the other end. In disgust, 77-70, 137 to go. Tony Perkins back on the line. He's three for three this afternoon. Hawks can finish him off at the free throw line here with the final minute, 37 seconds. First one up and right down the cylinder. No doubt. He'll have one more, 78-70. Tony with one to go and got it 79-70 the advantage Dawes over the timeline left-handed to right-handed dribble to the right wing Dix picks him up now up top they swing it around left side baseline drive put up no good tipped around by Coleman recovered by Sanford Hawks have it 120 counting right side McCaffrey the nine-point lead, 79-70. Patrick gets it out to Tony. They're Perk not going to foul. They are not. Perkins guarded by Take your time, Tony. Dawes. One minute to go in the game. Ten on the shot clock. Perkins up top. Five on the shot clock. Drives in, puts it up, and the foul comes. As Ade Wusu thought he had the ball, but contact coming. And two, two shots. Yeah, two shots coming for Tony. He has really taken over this last couple of minutes here. Confident free throw shooter. He's got uh, he's four out of four here in the last 30 seconds. Free throw line. 55 seconds to go. 79-70. The nine-point lead. 14 points in total for Tony. No good. Rims around, pops out left side. One more to come. 55.9 on the clock. Hawks lead 79-70. Cricky and Sanford in the middle of the lane. Dix and McCaffrey back. Perkins spins around, pops out. No good. Davis pushes it ahead to Dawes. Hawks still lead by nine. 50 seconds to go. Trying to hang on to win game number four. Here's a three up top. Dawes for no good. Off the mark left side. Sanford gathers a rebound. Coleman going to foul him. And Sanford will go down to shoot two free throws with 40 seconds to go. Really good defense by the Hawkeyes all second half here. They made a little run there, uh, uh, John. A little 10-0 run to bring it to within four points. But they weathered that storm. They sat in that 2-3 zone and uh, got a couple of threes to drop there after that. But for the most part, they rebounded well out of that and then have stepped to the free throw line and let's finish. Great effort to hang on here and get the win over the Big East opponent, Seton Hall. The free throw up and right down. It's 80 to 70. Travel Leaders Destination Unlimited. Iowa's official bowl tour. Proud to announce the Hawkeyes officially bowl eligible. We've known that for 
a month or so. Travel Leaders Destination Unlimited is Iowa's leader for game tickets, air travel, and hotel. Sign up to receive official bowl travel information at HawkeyeSports.com slash Bowl Central. Sanford makes the second one up by 11 now. They led by 11 at the halftime break. 81-70 now. No good on the free throw. The tip back in after Davis missed the three. Ade Wasu with the tip back in. And it's 81-72. A quick, short 30-second timeout. Stay tuned. The U.S. Cellular Post Game Show will break this one down. The Hawkeyes going to hang on here. Just how much will the final be? 31 seconds to go. They lead by nine. Congratulations to Coach Kirk Ferentz and the Hawkeye football team again earlier today, beating Nebraska 13-10 on that 39-yard field goal as the clock hit zeros. Keeps Nebraska out of the bowl. Game. Indeed. As Nebraska ended at 5-7, and seven, Hawkeyes improved to 10-2. and two. Ten wins for the fifth time in program history. 13-10 win for the Hawkeyes today. Marshall Meter, the Backup kicker, transfer from Central Michigan with the uh, game winner for the Hawkeye football team today. So great job of the Hawkeyes getting it done. The three-point win. Iowa women's basketball leading 46-34 in that game. Down in Florida in the second quarter, two minutes to go. 12-point lead for the fifth-ranked Iowa women. Here's a foul that comes by Ade Wusu as Peyton will go to the line up by 9, 29 seconds to go. Thinking back to that football game as we listened on uh, the app uh, that, that you had uh, yep. driving over. Uh, Kyle Denning was driving us here, <laughs> listening to Dolph and Eddie's call, and I love the call by Dolph. There's a new marshal in yes. town with the three-point walk-off. The old veteran, always creative, always coming up with something. Made me smile. Indeed. Sanford knocks down the free throw. Ten-point lead, 82-72. One more to come for Peyton. And he knocks it down. Automatic. Four for four in the afternoon for Peyton, leading the way with points. 22. 25 seconds and counting here. This one's picked off. Dawes throws in the hands of Dix, who intercepted it right in front of Ade Wusu. And Josh Dix will go the line to shoot. He's got seven points. Nothing at the line. His first trip to the line, and there's the let's go Hawks chant from the heavily dominated black and gold in the crowd here in La Jolla, California, on the UC San Diego campus. You don't hear that on the road a lot. No, they're Heavily enjoying dominated. themselves. Yeah, it's been a long afternoon here with the uh, the game got started late and then uh, went down to the wire there with Oklahoma, USC. But the Hawk fans that came and filled in those seats full of black and gold right now. 83% is Dix. He nails the first one. The Hawks back up by 12. 84-72, 24 seconds to go in the ball game. The Hawks will get out of California 1-1. One and one. Return home to play inside Carver Hawkeye Arena against North Florida at 8 o'clock on Wednesday night. Free throw is good for Dix. He gets two of them, and the Hawks lead by 13. 85 72, under 20 seconds to play. New faces in here. Malachi Brown. Now here's a three by Coleman. No good off the backside. Rebounded by McCaffrey. Under 10 seconds to go. Patrick going to dribble it out. That's going to do it as Patrick. Hang on to the basketball. And the final buzzer now. And the final, 85-72. The Hawkeyes get the consolation title here in the first ever Rady Children's Invitational as they take down Seton Hall, 85-72. They move their record to 3-1 and one in the fourth meeting against the Pirates, the first meeting since the uh, fourth meeting, the first one back in 1982. Hawkeyes get the 13-point win, and exactly how we talked in that extended pregame of how they needed to get it done today, 
and it happened. Yeah, it certainly did. And the number one thing that had to happen today, John, was uh, after that tough loss yesterday uh, to Oklahoma, uh, where you were just you know beat up uh, defensively. But what's the energy level? You know, you're coming out of a Thanksgiving holiday. They had a nice meal, but these guys came out with great energy right from the tip. Indeed, they did as they get the 85 70 two victory to improve the record to four and two one and one in neutral play as Seton Hall drops to four and two we will take a timeout our U.S. Cellular postgame show is around the corner Hawkeyes get the win over Seton Hall this is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield You've been listening to healthy coverage of the Iowa Hawkeyes, presented by Wellmark Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Also brought to you by Linux and your local Linux home comfort specialist. Made right here in Iowa since 1895. Shelter Insurance. Find an agent for your auto, home, and life at shelterinsurance.com. Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit ialottery.com for details. Bud Light. Easy to drink, easy to enjoy. And by Riverside Casino and Golf Resort, home of the Draft Day Sports Lounge, just minutes south of Iowa City. This is Hawkeye Basketball from Learfield. At MidAmerican Energy, our 1.6 million customers depend on our energy 24-7. That's why we work 24-7 to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. To keep our 99.9% reliability record, we're enhancing our technology, improving resiliency, and investing in critical infrastructure. We're generating power from all available resources to cover any increases in demand. And we're innovating to ensure you always have the energy you need. MidAmerican Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season. Like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. This year, we considered hiring an ad agency to help with our marketing. They pitched impressive visuals and a script that was inspiring. And exotic animal mascots to help grab your attention. In the end, we just decided to tell it to you straight. Shelter Insurance has award-winning customer service at affordable rates. Plus, our local agents are there to help you understand what coverage you need. To find an agent near you, visit shelterinsurance.com and switch today. There's a Honda for every holiday adventure. Whether it's traveling to the holiday family dinner in an efficient Accord hybrid, or heading to a hike to burn it off in a powerful CRV hybrid. Find your new Honda during Happy Honda Days. For a limited time, well-qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Accord hybrid and 2024 CRV hybrid. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. See dealer for financing details. On the Hawkeye Sports Network, from Learfield, Hawkeye Basketball has been brought to you by Authentic Brand. It's more than just a label, it's a statement. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. By your local Ford dealers. U.S. Bank, proud to support Iowa basketball. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. And by... Iowa Lottery. Be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. This is the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. Built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Hawkeyes get the win here in La Jolla, California. On the campus of UC San Diego inside Lion Tree Arena, John Swisher back with you on our U.S. Cellular postgame show brought to you by U.S. Cellular as a proud sponsor of the Hawkeyes. U.S. Cellular wants you to make the most of today by choosing game day traditions first and scrolling later. U.S. Cellular built for us. Hawks with the win, 85-72, improve the record to 4-2. and two. 
As it's time for a post-game stats report brought to you by High V. Score big savings with the all-new, totally free High V Perks membership. We start with the Hawkeyes, who were led by Peyton Sanford. He'll be our Old Dominion player of the game. We'll hear from Peyton shortly. 22 points. He was 7 of 14, 4 of 4 for the free throw line, 3 assists for Peyton. Also had 9 rebounds, all 9 defensive rebounds on the night. Ben Cricky, 19 points, 8 of 10 from the field, 3 of 4 for the free throw line. Garnered 1 rebound, 10 points for Patrick McCaffrey, 4 of 7 for Patrick Six total rebounds, all defensively. Three points for DeSante Bowen. 14 for Tony Perkins. Nice game for Tony. Four of seven. Five of seven for the free throw line. One of two from three-point range. As a team, the Hawkeyes were seven of 19 from three-point range. It's Josh Dix had nine points. Owen Freeman was six, two for Laji Dembele. Shooting for the Hawks. Field goals in that first, in that uh, Ball game, 31 of 55 for 56%. Three points, shots, 7 of 19 for 37%. Free throw percentage, 84%, 16 of 19. For Seton Hall, they were led by Dre Davis with 18. Their leading scorer coming in with 15 tonight. He was 6 of 16. 11 points for Jaden Bediaco. 11 points for Dylan Ade Wusu. 8 points for Kadari Richmond, 14 for Almir Dawes. Jaquan Sanders had two. Isaiah Coleman with eight points. Shooting wise for Seton Hall, 27 of 75 for 36%. From three point range, 8 of 27 for 20 for 30%. Free throw percentage, 83%, 10 of 12. Points from turnovers. Seton Hall favored that 14 to 8. Points in the paint. Hawkeyes had 40. Seton Hall 38. Second chance points. Seton Hall dominated that category 17 to 2. Iowa 14 to 7 on fast break points and the bench points 17 to 10. Hawkeyes led by as much as 18 in that first half. They had 11 point lead at halftime 44 39. Go on to win 85 72. And at one lead change, the score was tied one time. Seton Hall an early lead of uh, two with 19.21 to go. Other than that, it was the Hawkeyes, the 18th point biggest lead of the game with 3.47 to go in that first half. So the Hawks get the win over Seton Hall. Final score, 85-72. to 72. As we bring in our Old Dominion player of the game, Peyton Sanford with the uh, great effort. The 6'7 junior from Waukee, 22 points, 7 of 14 from the field, 4 of 10 from three-point range, 4 of 4 from the free throw line, 9 rebounds, 3 assists, 34 minutes play this afternoon, the win over Seton Hall. You'll take this one uh, over the game uh, yesterday, right? You learn, you move on, and that's uh, the kind of mindset you guys had here today. Great effort by you. Talk about uh, that mindset coming into this afternoon's game against the Pirates. Yeah, last night was it was a pretty salty feeling. Um, we were back eating Thanksgiving meal, and nobody was happy. I think everyone just wanted to go to sleep, but we knew we had to move on. We moved on quickly, and um, we focused on uh, kind of what we did wrong from that Oklahoma game, watched that film, and then um, – really translated it uh, into Seton Hall and we figured out um, you know we have to be more aggressive we have to be more um, assertive in what we're doing we have to be more connected and uh, I think we solved all those things early Um, they made a run but uh, we never wavered stuck together the whole time and it's it's a big win just that different intensity that energy coming out got off to a better start and it helps when those shots are falling yourself as a shooter how easy, how hard is it to, to forget about an effort like uh, yesterday and move on to uh, today? You want to get right back at it, but hard is how hard is that mentally to, to try to move on? Yeah, I think um, sometimes it feels like they can't go in, but you just have to keep shooting it. Um, trust your work. Uh, I'm, I'm actually glad that we got we played the next day so you can yes. get right back to it. It wasn't um, that feeling for three or four days, so I'm really proud of how we responded. Um, this is going to be a big win for us, and um, you know, a, a lot of our guys didn't shoot it well 
yesterday, which made the game probably feel worse than it was. If we were hitting shots, we probably were, were right there. And, um, you know, I'm proud of everyone for bouncing back. Um, Josh was awesome. Tony had a different level of uh, energy today. And um, when he has that, then it just kind of funnels down to the rest of the team. And, uh, you know, it starts with him. You got uh, rebounded by uh, two today, but the aggressiveness was still there. Uh, what you did yesterday against Oklahoma carried into this game uh, rebounding-wise. Yourself had nine rebounds all defensively. Talk about your uh, rebounding game. Yeah, um, it's something I personally have worked on um, all, all off season, kind of reading where the ball's going, getting myself in position, and then uh, it's just a mindset to be tough and um, go get that ball. And uh, that's something that was really stressed for the Oklahoma game, which is something we actually did really well. Um, I think they were one of the top offensive rebounding teams in the country, and we dominated them in that aspect, but um, nothing else. And then today was a very similar thing. Um, uh, the big guy in the middle, I mean, he was everywhere getting every rebound, and um, that was tough, but uh, we responded, and I think we were getting smoked at half, so it was a good second-half effort. Indeed. What do you like about this group the uh, most? Is uh, still early on in the season, six games in, 4-2 and two record now. What do you like about this group this year? Uh, I love this team. I mean, uh, we're very connected. Um, we have a lot of guys who can really go. Um, we had some, some young guys who didn't get a whole lot of minutes today, but they're going to be huge down the stretch. Um, you know, I, I keep keep telling my brother, just keep shooting. I've been in that situation, and he's off to a little bit of a rough start. But, I mean, he's a competitor. He's a fighter, and um, get him going will be good. Brock uh, came and gave us some big minutes. Lodgy, a lot of rebounds. Owen, Owen, he's been awesome so far. And, um, you know, I think we just have so many weapons we can go to. And uh, yesterday, none of them were firing, which is going to be a rare thing. But, um, you know, today we, we got it going, and I'm really just proud of how we bounced back about this uh never surprised about this hawkeye uh black and gold uh, spirit support on the road uh hundreds of miles away from home and and uh, a lot of locals here coming out even some that traveled a, a good distance but uh to hear the let's go hawks chant and see all this black and gold we saw a good amount of it yesterday but uh, even more so uh, today how's that feel as a player on the field when you're soaking that in it was awesome i mean I, i'm so happy that we got so many fans here and they were awesome fans uh they knew everything about us we got to meet with some of the i club uh, wednesday night before uh, the oklahoma game and um, just meeting those people was awesome and then I mean, there were so many people here that had either traveled or lived here uh, that bleed the uh, black and gold. And, you know, I mean, that, that support really helps us. And um, we need that support at home, too. But, I mean, this felt awesome. No doubt about it. All right, congrats on the win. Four and two moving on after the uh, victory over Seton Hall, 85-72. Congrats on the uh, tremendous performance by you here. And uh, best of luck as we move forward. Yeah, thank you. You bet. Peyton Sanford, the uh, Hawkeye, who was our Old Dominion player of the game as the uh, Hawkeye guys get the uh, victory here over Seton Hall once again the final 85 to 72 our best in the game interview brought to you by Old Dominion Freight Line Old Dominion Freight Line works hard to be the best in the game and is proud to support those striving to be the best in theirs again Peyton Sanford 34 minutes play 22 points 7 of 14 4 of 10 three point range 4 of 4 from the free throw line nine rebounds and three assist on the afternoon in the 13-point win for him and his team and the Hawkeyes over Seton Hall. We will take another timeout as the U.S. Cellular postgame show rolls on after this from California. Hawkeyes win over Seton Hall. This is Hawkeye basketball from Learfield. American Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in Eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. 
Royal Flooring has everything you and your home needs from the floors up. We proudly serve Des Moines area homes as your local one-stop shop for flooring, tile appliances, cabinetry, countertops, and more. Visit shoproyalflooring.com to give your home the royal treatment today. Our mission at Open All is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, CEO. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served the Iowa City area for 57 years. Oaknell is located near University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics, Kinnick Stadium, Carver Hawkeye Arena, Hancher Auditorium, and downtown Iowa City. Visit our website at oaknell.com to learn more. We're a proud sponsor of Hawkeye Athletics. Go Hawks! Hawkeyes get the victory over Seton Hall, 85-72 this afternoon from Lion Tree Arena in La Jolla, California. John Swisher back with you on the U.S. Cellular Post game. As it's time now to take a check of the uh, player that heated up the nets. Brought to you by Lennox. Presented by the Lennox Dealers of Iowa, Ben Cricky was uh, our man there with 19 points, 31 minutes played, 8 of 10 from the field, 3 of 4 from the free throw line, Ben Cricky, our Hawkeye player who heated up the nets, presented by the Lennox Dealers of Iowa, including Lozier, heating, cooling in Des Moines, all seasons heating, cooling in Dubuque, Paul's Plumbing and Heating in Keokuk, Down and Walton Incorporated in Manchester, North Central Iowa Services, in Webster City. Points in the paint brought to you by Spotted Rose. Contractors, you're busier than ever, but you've got this with high quality building materials from Spotted Rose, like GAF Roofing. Use the Spotted Rose Visualizer to plan the perfect roof and blend and architectural look with exceptional performance. GAF, we protect what matters the most. With several Spotted Rose locations, you can focus on life's other important things. Spotted Rose, buy easier, build better. Hawkeyes led the paint department, points in the paint by 2, 40 to 38 over Seton Hall. So we'll take another time out. Bobby Hanson still in the uh, locker room getting coach Fran McCaffrey's postgame thoughts after the 13 point win over Seton Hall as our U.S. Cellular postgame show continues after this from Learfield. How do you become America's best-selling brand? Let's break it down. Innovative tech means smarter and safer driving. Intelligent all-wheel drive will keep you ready for anything. And built Ford Tough Trucks will always get the job done. Plus, come into your local Ford store today and get super low APR financing, big cash back, and great lease offers on Ford's full line of cars, trucks, and SUVs. That's Ford, and that's how you become America's best-selling brand. Sales claim based on calendar year sales. The big game, family, friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. Hawk fans, stop in and visit the newly renovated guest rooms at Hyatt Regency Coralville Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Iowa River Landing. Stay within walking distance of Extreme Arena, home of the Iowa Hawkeye volleyball team, as well as great restaurants, shopping, and scenic walking trails along the Iowa River. Hyatt Regency Coralville is also the home of Hawk Talk with Lisa Bluter and Fran McCaffrey this fall. Come together at Hyatt Regency Coralville, where everything you need is right here. This is John. Hey, my name is John Jackson. He's not some actor. He's a steward of the land with a John Deere 3 Series tractor and a PTO Quick Connect that hooks up rear implements with a single click. John runs with us because to him, there's nothing more important than connecting with the land. Nothing runs like a deer. Hear John's story at deer.com. Stop by your local John Deere dealer for a test drive today or learn more at deer.com. Your Iowa John Deere dealers, proud sponsors of Iowa basketball. Hawkeyes get the 85-72 win over Seton Hall. They improve the record of 4-2. The U.S. Cellular postgame show continues on this Friday afternoon. 
It's time now for our John Deere postgame interview with head coach Fran McCaffrey, brought to you by great John Deere dealers like Bodensteiner Implement in New Hampton. Here's Bobby with Coach McCaffrey. The word of the day, Coach, is energy. And uh, what a great bounce-back victory. And uh, my question is, how'd you get it done? Well, you know, we talked about it directly, Bobby. You know, I'm really, really proud of our guys, especially our veteran guys. Set the tone early, led wire to wire. Uh, this is a really good team. It's a really well-coached team. You knew they were going to make a run. They did it yesterday. They got down 20 and they cut it to three. The runs were coming. And the way we responded to those runs was what the real good teams have to do. Yeah, we, we did some good things yesterday, but we didn't play well yesterday. And I thought the greatest thing was we got to play today. And we had an opportunity to come out and do exactly what you said. Establish right away what our energy level was going to be like at both ends of the floor. And boy, were they special. So uh, I'm, I'm happy for them. You know, it would be a fun plane ride home. Coach, there's a lot of stars in this game. And uh, number one, the gentleman that walked right by there, Tony Perkins, he got you off to the start with that coast-to-coast dunk finish, I think, gave you confidence. Tony was really, I think, active at both ends all day long. You know, he was aggressive. If you remember, Bobby, last year we went, we went to New Jersey and beat a really good Seton Hall team. And, and they pressed up on Tony, and he had a, he had a great game. I mean, he and Chris and Connor uh, in particular – uh, were terrific that day, Philip Abraccia. But Tony was special in that game. And he did the same thing today. He drove the ball, it played him at both spots, and uh, he just continued to produce. And if he did make a mistake, he played through it. And another guy to produce with Ben Cricky uh, early. Ben got you going too with that, with that left hand. He's going up against Betty Yako, who's a big man in there, but uh, Ben got the best. He was terrific on offense. And he was, he was in there wrestling with with you know really two big bodies in there so he was he was front screening a lot so he didn't get as many rebounds because he has to front screen and if he's helping at all it's tough to get back but uh we could go to him anytime we needed a basket and he was he was special today and your free throw shooting down the stretch uh was lights out as uh, every time they got fouled it was like automatic other tony missed a couple of them but for, a little tired but for the most part guys stepped up there with confidence and drained them yeah tony missed two but the four he made before that were the four big ones you know, and he was in there active, getting fouled, because you know, they're a physical team. So we didn't score, but we got fouled. We got to the free throw line and had a chance to expend, extend the lead and make it a three- or a four-possession game. Coach, when I look at my notes here, uh, it was 71-65, a, a chance for a Seton Hall to really get back into this game with about four minutes to go. He had a good defensive stand, and Patrick came up with a run-out dunk and a finish. where He was being chased down by somebody going to go after the block. Yeah, he had to dunk that. You know, I thought his three out of the corner, too, was one of the biggest shots of the game. They had cut the lead, come out of the timeout. We ran a play. He's one of the options on that play, and he just raised up and buried it. So I'm really proud of him. And, Coach, talk about the different matchups that you used. It wasn't a typical, you know, five in, five out. You, you mix and match the guys in there, and DeSante didn't get a lot of minutes, but uh, Brock Harding had some, had some big minutes. You know, and I always feel bad about that. I wanted to get Brock more minutes, DeSante more minutes, probably Sanford more minutes. But uh, Owen was terrific in the first half. They poked him a few times in the second half. That happens. Uh, Lodgy was solid on the glass defensively. Uh, Josh Dix was great. So, you know, I stuck with him uh, primarily. Uh, and, and, you know, I think DeSante and he understand that. Some days will be DeSante. Some days will be Josh. And Coach, the 2-3 zone, a little steady diet of the 2-3 zone, kept uh, Seton Hall, I thought, away from the basket there in the second half. He stuck with it and paid dividends. It did. You know, it was effective yesterday. USC used it down the stretch, if you remember, the last three minutes. It was really the reason they won the game. So we knew we were going to go to it at some point. We went to it a little bit earlier than maybe we wanted to. But it keeps everybody in front of you. It takes away their driving actions. They're a driving team. So it kind of keeps everybody in front of you. Dawes, we lost him a couple times. He's a handful with his three-point shot. But everybody else, we contested without fouling and rebounded the ball. Well, Coach, a terrific bounce-back victory here out in San Diego. Long trip out there, but worth it. Uh, you finished 1-1, one and one, now sitting at 4-2, and two, and home game Wednesday night, uh, 8 o'clock. Yes, uh, and by the way, I just want to give a shout-out to the Hawk fans tonight, today and yesterday. I mean, just what an unbelievable job. An atmosphere, felt like a home game. Let's go, Hawks. Uh, it's just great to see our fans out here. And those folks, like we said yesterday, Bobby, we're going to be seeing a lot of them now, now that we're coming out this way. So, uh Happy for them to have had the opportunity to, to come on and cheer us on. We need the same thing on Wednesday. 
Okay, Coach. Well, congratulations once again and uh, terrific victory out in California. Appreciate it, Bobby. Bobby Hanson with head coach Fran McCaffrey. Brought to you by Bone Steiner Implement. Bone Steiner Implement is your trusted John Deere dealer with 10 locations in Northeast Iowa to serve you. We'll take another time out as we uh, start to wind down here, get ready to take the plane back to uh, Iowa and uh, leave California as the Hawkeyes get the win 85 72. We'll come back for more U.S. Cellular postgame show right after this. This is Hawkeye Men's Basketball from Learfield. Everyone knows the BBB is the Better Business Bureau, but depending on what you need, it's the Better Plumber Bureau, the Better Auto Mechanic Bureau, the Better Accountant Bureau. That's because the BBB connects people with businesses they can trust. So think of the BBB as the Better Check That Business Out First so you don't get ripped off Bureau. Be smart. Always look for the BBB seal because it's looking out for you. Find a better business anytime at BBB.org. Do you want to play an integral part in helping the Hawks win championships? Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm today and partner with Iowa football and the Iowa men's and women's basketball programs to serve charities in Eastern Iowa. Your tax-deductible Swarm donation will compensate our Iowa student-athletes for working to further the missions of local charities such as the United Way, Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and more. Go to iowaswarm.com for more information and make Iowa athletics the place for our student-athletes to experience the thrill of winning championships. American Equity salutes today's hero of the game. As a proud sponsor of the ongoing recognition of our military during Hawkeye games this season, please join American Equity in thanking all who have served our country. American Equity is more than just retirement savings and income products. They are committed to providing you best-in-class service and high-quality retirement income that helps deliver the independence to dream and reach your goals. To learn more about American Equity, please visit their website at American-Equity.com. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with these local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Located in the Des Moines area, Car Law, Community Choice Credit Union, and Royal Flooring. Facing a criminal charge or complicated family law situation, Car Law Firm has the trial experts you need. As experienced trial attorneys, we understand how much is on the line. Go to carlawiowa.com for a free consultation. That's car with two R's, lawiowa.com. There's a Honda for every holiday adventure. Whether it's taking in the lights with all your friends in a spacious Accord, or taking in a snow day in a rugged CRV. Find your new Honda during Happy Honda Days. For a limited time, well qualified buyers can get a 3.9% APR on a 2024 Honda Accord and 2024 CRV. So see your Central Midwest Honda dealer today. Honda gets the Midwest. See dealer for financing details. If you've got the right tools and the friendly people at U.S. Bank in your corner, making smarter money choices is a piece of cake. If only our tools and helpful advisors could have helped you avoid some of those not-so-smart choices in life. Like that time you tried to pick up unicycling. Oh, coming through! Or when you thought it'd be okay to pet that squirrel in the park. Good squirrel. Good squirrel. <laughs> While we can't help you with all that, we can help you bank smartly at usbank.com slash smarter together. Member FDIC. Hawk fans, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes, the hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, the Jill Armstrong team with Skogman Realty, the area's premier realtor, and Melrose Meadows, voted Iowa City's best retirement community. The hotel at Kirkwood Center, a AAA four-diamond luxury property located just a few minutes from the Eastern Iowa Airport in downtown Cedar Rapids. Whether you're visiting for business or pleasure, the hotel is happy to welcome you. To make reservations, visit the hotel at Kirkwood.com. If you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, experiencing a mental health or substance use crisis, or just need someone to listen, 988 provides a direct connection to free, confidential, and compassionate support. When you call, text, or chat 988, you'll be quickly connected to trained crisis counselors who will listen to your concerns, provide support, and connect you to additional resources if needed. There is hope. You are not alone. For 24-7 support, call or text 988 or chat 988lifeline.org. Starting to wind down the U.S. Cellular postgame show. Hawkeyes get the win, 85-72. As they improve their record of 4-2, and two, we take a look at the Latham Seeds Charity Stripe Recap. Charity Stripe Recap 
As we look at how the Hawks and the uh, Pirates did from the line today, Hawkeyes 16 of 19, 84%. Seton Hall was 10 of 12 for 83%. That was your Charity Stripe update brought to you by Latham High Tech Seeds. Just like the Hawkeyes' diverse talents, no seed company has more trait and genetic diversity than Latham High Tech Seeds. Thank you to Latham Seeds for supporting Hawkeye basketball and the American Cancer Society through the Hawkeye Charity Stripe promotion all season long as we have our plays of the game coming up next hawkeyes get the win 85 72 the final on the u.s bank scoreboard the iowa hawkeye women number five in the country down in estero florida in the gulf coast classic it's iowa 67 purdue fort wayne 42 with 346 to go in the third quarter as we take one more time out, come back to wrap it all up from California next. This is Hawkeye Men's Basketball from Learfield. The big game, family, friends. We know you count on Alliant Energy to deliver the safe, reliable energy you need. Whether you're watching the game, cooking your famous burgers, or leaving a light on for loved ones. For us, it means going beyond the expected to make sure we're planning for the energy you need today and tomorrow. That way you can keep your eye on the ball and focus on what's most important to you. Find out more at AlliantEnergy.com slash Powering Beyond. To anyone passing through our state, fields and fields of corn might be what they see. But the people who call Iowa home know it's so much more. Corn is ethanol, a homegrown, renewable fuel. Corn is delicious pork, beef, poultry, and dairy. Corn is in 4,000 products we rely on every day. So yeah, Our highway views are full of corn, and we're proud of it. Because corn grows Iowa. Show your support for Iowa corn farmers at iowacorn.org backslash fan of corn. Right now, new and current customers can get any phone for free at U.S. Cellular. So you can connect with all your family members this holiday season. Like your snowbird grandparents, your adorable nieces, or your favorite uncle. Just think, with any phone free from U.S. Cellular, you can even call your aunt who always makes you talk to your cousin, who's a dog. Or, you know, maybe just send her a festive text. Everyone can get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. Get any phone free today. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Terms apply. Visit uscellular.com for details. Greatness doesn't happen overnight. It takes time, focus, and dedication. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that because we put in the hard work and dedication for decades. And that commitment has paid off with award-winning customer service for your auto, home, and life insurance. Visit shelterinsurance.com and find an agent to help you choose the coverage you need. Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We are your shelter. Welcome back in one final time here to San Diego inside the Lion Tree Arena. Hawkeyes get the win 85-72 as we take a look at our plays of the game. So Hawkeyes played much better this afternoon and got the 13-point victory as we roll all those uh, fantastic plays right now. Right side with it is Richmond. Hesitation three. Rainbow Archer no good over Patrick McCaffrey. Backside board by Perkins. Off and running. Tony sees a lane to the hoop and slams it in. The one-handed slammer by Tony Perkins. Seven-point Hawkeye lead, just under 14 minutes to play in the first half. Hand off to Sanford, coming around the screen. Three-pointer, got it to go. Peyton Sanford, the three ball, gives the Hawks the 10-point lead, largest lead of the ball game. Cuts the lead to seven, 18-11 Hawks, 13 minutes to go, first half. Inside, Cricky, nice move off the glass and good. Just bodied his way through that lane. Here's a handoff to Sanford, 20 to 11, 12 10 to go. Here's a left handed reverse layup, no good. Freeman gets it back after it tipped it up, put it up and in. Second try for Owen, and the Hawks lead by 11, their largest lead. Team, that was the errant score put up on the board. It's 42 27, but here's a steal and the breakaway and a slammeroo by Patrick McCaffrey. Kadari Richmond, who has held scoreless, their leading scorer. Back up top, Sanford for a three, got it to go. Peyton Sanford dials long distance, top of the key. Inside from Harding, from top of the key, Cricky didn't have anything, pass it out. Sanford gets it to go. Patrick, Patrick. McCaffrey, I should say, Patrick. from the left corner. Patrick gets one to rattle in, and it plopped on down. Patrick saying... 
First one was this afternoon as Oklahoma edged USC 72 to 70 as they knocked off the 23rd ranked Trojans. Here's Dix comes away with it. Ball is bad away. Patrick slammed down all the way in. And Patrick hopes that's the exclamation point. The Hawks back up by eight. Those are our plays of the game. Hawkeyes get the win 85-72 to as they'll return home on Wednesday night against North Florida at 8 o'clock as Dolph and Bobby will be back with you. Thanks to Bobby Hansen for all his great uh, work and the trip here out to uh, La Jolla, California. As a thanks to our in-studio uh, producers, Bobby, yesterday, and Lacey Williams back at the controls, Jefferson City, our in-studio producer this afternoon back in uh, Missouri. And uh, thanks for uh, tuning in. Congratulations, Iowa Hawkeye football team. Coach Ferentz and company again getting a 13-10 win earlier today over Nebraska. Hawkeyes 10 wins, fifth time in program history. As the Hawkeye men's basketball team 1-1 one and one on the trip out here. Thanks to the folks from the Rady Children's Invitational here at the uh, campus of UC San Diego. That is going to do it for our coverage. Again, Hawkeye men's basketball back on the air at 7 o'clock, the pregame on Wednesday night for Hawkeye basketball as they welcome in North Florida to Carver Hawkeye Arena. John Swisher saying have yourselves a good and safe rest of your Black Friday night. So long, everybody, from California. You've been listening to the U.S. Cellular Post Game Show. U.S. Cellular, built for the Hawkeyes. Built for silencing notifications and turning up the noise. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Hawkeye basketball has been brought to you by Authentic Brand, unique Hawkeye apparel at Authentic-Brand.com. Linux and your local Linux home comfort specialist. Made right here in Iowa since 1895. Mid-American Energy. Look up, look out for overhead power lines. Visit midamericanenergy.com for electrical safety tips. Also brought to you by hy V. Score big savings with the new hy V Perks membership. And by United Healthcare. Committed to helping people live healthier lives. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the Hawkeye Sports Network.